Unfortunately, I don't think you do. And I can't risk telling you everything either. What? Allie? What are you hiding? Who are you really? It's you. The one I've been waiting all this time to see. Who? The one who made me dream of a life together, far from this island. You've been right by me all this time. Tomorrow's the... Huh? Cat? Yo, yo, yo! What's up, y'all? Welcome back to Wingate TV. I am back here with Find Love or Die Trying. I know. I know. It's the day after Valentine's Day. But this, we're not in a good situation here because last time we left off with this, we were in a weird situation. Like we basically went back in time or some shit. So this ain't about love right now. We're trying to figure out what the hell is really going on. But since it is, I guess, after Valentine's Day, no. it's still technically love is in the air, technically. You know, I got my Thing 2 shirt on. You know, got all the cute girls around here, you know. So we gotta see what's up with them. Let's do this. Alright, here's where we left off. I don't remember who we went on a date with last time. It might have been Allie. Actually, it might have been both it might have been both of them. I don't I don't it's, it was Tara and um Allie, I think. Cause we did Wait, no, we did two people the last Oh, I know. Because before we did that little mind swap thing, it was Violet and Yui. Now I think it's Te um, Terry. Now I think it's Allie, Tara, and Scarlet we have to do. Like, they really tried to mind fuck us. I really, like, but I notice it. They don't, obviously. Alright, you be saying, So tell us more, more about your dream, Tara. I don't really remember much, but I was in a video game and I was getting hit on by a lot of pigeons. Oh, we, we spent the day with Tara. I remember. I, it's all coming back to me now. Uh, how am I supposed to respond to that? What if it was a sign? I'm sorry. What? What do you What do you mean a sign? It was a dream. Nothing more. I, I don't see how. Allie had a devilish grin on her face. I think it is a sign, Tara. It's a sign that you should try making video games. The world needs more pigeon dating sims. She got jokes. You're right. There's no time to waste. You shouldn't have said that, Allie. Tara ran off. Oh my, are you certain that was a good idea to spur her on? Of course! Seriously, what's the worst that could happen? I felt a chill run down my spine, because he knew that shit was real. He knew that shit was real. It actually happened. Oh, uh, here we go. We am to prepare myself for Cat, because you ain't so innocent, so... Morning, Sean. Congrats, you made it to the fourth day. Yeah, I, technically. And you become the first person to have one, not one, not two, but three soulmate candidates. Who would have thought? Granted, soulmate candidates don't really exist, but hey, we'll edit that part out. <laughs> Something must have really happened for her to think that there, there's no such thing as soulmates. You should really, really be proud of yourself. I can't tell if you're being serious or not. I'll leave that for you to guess. Anyway, between your three... <laughs> Lucky romantic interest. She, she thinks she's funny. Who do you want to spend today with? All right, all right. We got we got to do with everybody at least once. I mean, at least once today. So, well, not today, but you know, we got to do all of them. So, let's go with. Let's just go down the line. Wait, but didn't we do that last time? Maybe this time we should go. Yeah, we're doing it. Tara, let's go with Tara. Alright, sounds like a plan to me. I think she's working on something in the mansion. Lead the way. How am I going to lead the way if I don't know what the hell, where the hell exactly she's at? I knocked on the door to the game room because I would think that's where she would be. Hey Sean, what's up? I thought I'd check in, see how you're doing with your game. Let me show you what I'm working on then. Tara handed me her game device. Not all the art's ready yet. But I'm hoping it'll be done soon. It's a farming game. I had to ditch the pigeon dating idea after, well, finding out it was already done. That's a shame, really, for the whole world. <laughs> but in this game, you get to live in a village, out of, out in the country, make friends, raise crops, and 
Wait, that's that's Minecraft. That's to me all the invaders with your giant mega pigeon death machine. I said mega me mecha. And there's one million possible weapon combinations and that sounds different. It does. That sounds different. I don't know what to expect, but I'd love to play it. I'm curious. How come you decided to make a farming game? Good question. They just got a special place in my heart. I used to just play these morning till night, every day. You could probably tell. I'm not really a go out and party kind of person. Neither am I, so you know what? That's another thing we have in common. To be honest, I don't know enough people to go to parties anyway, but it's whatever. Sounds sometimes it's more fun to just do your own thing. Hey, it's your choice of how you spend your time. Both of these are actually true, but how do how do I want to say it to her? Sometimes it's more fun just to do your own thing. How about that? Sometimes it can be more fun to stay indoors and just do what you enjoy. That's how I feel about it. Enough talk. Try playing it. I want to see how you feel about it. All right, here we go. I, I don't have a good feeling about this. The title screen displayed with a click. Star Blue Valley. Why can I talk today? I don't know what's wrong with me. I was a mecha pilot who got tired of life in the me mecha crops and decided to move out to the country to become a farmer. I was a pretty good one at that. Every season, I learned how to plant, water, and harvest new kinds of crops. Tara would give me advice for farming in every season. Her face was so close to mine. She watched my every move with a pensive expression. Pensive, is that good or bad? I don't remember. Farming and fishing felt great, but fishing was almost impossible to do at first. The mecha parts of the game felt incredible. You could even get to know the villagers and have relationships with them too. There was just one thing that I felt was a bit weird. Wait, he didn't say what, we, we didn't say what was weird. First, wow, what you have is so, ah, I can't talk. Y'all gotta excuse me, because I don't know what's wrong with me today. What you have f so far is incredible, Tara. You think so? Look at her eyes. Yeah, really, it's incredible. I never thought you could combine farming and being a mecha pilot in the same game, but you did it just fine. Thanks, Sean. That's nice of you to say. There's just one thing that I thought was a little off. What's that? Any feedback would be great. I feel like the relationships with the townspeople were a little weird. The dating aspects didn't really feel right. Ah, I knew you'd notice that. It's kind of embarrassing, but... I never actually dated before, so I have no idea what it's really like. She told us that before, I think. And to be honest, I've never really had a real friend either. That is so sad. It, it turned sad and I didn't want it to. If it's not too much to ask, her voice suddenly reduced to a whisper. Maybe you and I could be friends. Maybe we could be more than friends, if you know what I mean. I'd be honored to be your friend. That said, please don't trap me in a video game again. I'm sorry, what? Anyway, <laughs> watching you play gave me some ideas. Want to help me with testing them? Sure, I'll be happy to help however I can. We both suggest ideas, she implemented, and we tested together. And repeat, it just kept getting better and better. Tara's smile and enthusiasm was contagious. I couldn't help but be excited for her and in awe of her drive. We spent the rest of the day working on her game, but it only felt like minutes. I'm just glad it was another a virtual reality game. So, alright, so, ain't nothing wrong with that. I was feeling a bit restless after today's date to wait in my room, so I went downstairs to relax. And here, okay, here she go, always popping up when I don't want her to. Looks like someone had the same idea as I did. Cat was relaxing on the sofa with a bottle of red wine in hand. You on the job, you can't drink that. Hey there, Sean, care for a glass or five? Nah, no thanks, that's okay. I don't want to wake up with a hangover. You're on a killer dating show, and you're worried about a hangover, which is kind of true. Now she made me feel she she made me feel real stupid. Man, I want whatever you're drinking. 
Nothing. That's what the problem is, I guess. Cat filled her glass to the brim, then downed it in one go. Nope. Still not feeling like a hangover is worth worrying about here. She laughed and lightly jabbed me. Yeah, you real funny, bitch. I felt like I was finally getting able to see her real smile. Well, that's good, right? Right? <laughs> Cat started chugging down the bottle. Okay, you can slow down. You don't need to do that shit. Um. Uh, <sighs> you okay? I work on a TV show that kills in innocent people for shits and giggles. How okay do you think I could be? You might want to stop drinking that, because now you're just yelling at me. You're more of a buzzkill than Damien, and I don't even know how that's possible. He's killed people with actual buzz saws. Oh, sorry, Sean. I, I didn't even mean that. It's okay, Cat. No worries. I, but actually, I'm kind of worried because she actually just, you know, she's starting to reveal a little something that we didn't know before. I mean, we knew he probably killed, but not. We didn't get that much detail before. Now that you mention it, how did you end up working here anyway? Oh, you know, the old career fair down the block. She laid down on the sofa. You know you full of shit. If you're here for the daily interview where I ask about your day, I already have enough footage for today. As strange as it might sound, Cat, I'm here because I'm actually worried about you. And why is that? People who chuck a whole bottle of wine in one night usually aren't in the best place. Worry about yourself, Sean. If you knew some of the things I've done to survive, you wouldn't be trying to comfort me. Uh -oh. From what it sounds like, no one really has any choice. You've said that to me plenty of times, though, so I should know that. You just focus on being a ratings magnet on your dates. I'll be fine. Usually when people say they'd be fine, and we know they're in a bad situation, they're usually not fine. Thanks, Sean. If you don't mind, I'd like to be alone. Now she wants to be alone. Oh, no, this ain't good. Good night, cat. Don't stay up too late. Great. The walking corpse is giving me advice on how to live now. Do I really look that bad right now? Good night, cat. <laughs> and yes, you do. That's what he should have said. I hurried along. Now hold on just to... Yeah, we're gone. If only I could escape this island as easily as I could from a very, very drunk cat. Wait a minute. If cat's drunk... Then who's making sure today's episode is good? Oh shoot. Dot, dot, dot. Something tells me I'm not going to sleep very well tonight. Oh, here come the music. You already know what it's time for. That dream shit that I still think I'm still skeptical about. Dot, dot, dot. The two of us were lying down on a grassy field, watching the world pass us by. Where would you want to go when we're out of here? The countryside. Seems like it'd be the only place nowadays that you can get some peace and quiet. That does sound nice. Would you come with me? I know it's not for everybody, and it's missing a lot of the... You don't even have to ask, love. Of course I'm coming with you. We're a team, right? We're a team. This makes me think now it's Yui, because now she's talking about the countryside, and that's what, always what she liked. I think this game is trying to do that. Like It's trying to make me think it's any of these girls, when it could be any of them that's what the I, this game ain't slick she moved closer i held her tight in my arms mom would have loved you i wish you would have had a chance to meet her i know we'll make sure our kid gets a chance to meet theirs though her face turned bright red now we talk about kids oh oh shoot i didn't think it would get this deep what, what, what? He's like, are you okay? Like, s say that after we're actually engaged. It's cute how embarrassed she gets. You mean it? No. Every word. You're sweet. Not as sweet as you. Now, now we're just kissing up. Now we're just kissing up. Oh. All right. Next day. The girls and I kicked off our morning by testing out Terra's game together. It was multiplayer now, so we all can play in the same world. This came with its own fair share of consequences though. I said cover me, or you have to finish making dinner yourself. I'm trying, I'm trying. There's just too many mutant vegetables attacking. Yui, I need you to cover me. 
Where are you? I I'm sorry. It's the Baron's birthday, and I can't decide which berry to give him. I can't wait. But then I won't get bonus points. Come to think of it, I think we're running low on tomatoes and carrots. Do you need any, Violet? We have enough to survive the winter, but more supplies are always welcome. I'm on it. Well, the game's definitely gotten more exciting. I wanted for them to test the relationships, but maybe that'll have to wait a bit. I guess we'll see next time? Yeah, next time. I can't wait. We spent the rest of the morning playing Tara's game. That's dope. She making games out here. That's what's up. Good morning, Cat. I've been looking for you. Ever since last night, I've been just thinking. Ugh, not so loud, please. My head's killing me from all that wine last night that I tried to fucking warn you about. I still had to edit our broadcast after that, which didn't help. Somehow, this scene feels familiar because I remember I said this shit in the beginning. Something tells me that my chance of surviving goes down for every open bottle of alcohol in the island. Maybe I should spend today reenacting re pro reenacting prohibition instead of going on a date. You do know how prohibition ended, right? Anyway, back to the brass tax. The brass tax? Yesterday's second date with Tara went really well. Let's keep striking the iron while it's hot. Which soulmate candidate will you be going on a second date with today? I said I was going from bottom up, so okay. Scarlet. Huh. If making zombies doesn't count as a red flag, I'd love to see what your dating handbook looks like. But that's none of my business. I don't have a fucking choice anyway, so I don't know why you're saying that. I think Scarlet's somewhere around the mansion. We'll follow you. I always gotta find them. I always gotta find these bitches. I'm sorry, I don't mean to call them bitches, but... Because they actually, they, they look good. I found Scarlet out for a stroll outside the mansion. She seemed a little down. Hey, Scarlet. You doing okay? Uh, ah! Jeez! Uh-oh. It's just you, Sean. You almost gave me a heart attack. S sorry, I, I didn't mean to. It's, uh, not your fault. I'm just a bit on edge after a whole zombie date thing. <laughs> Whatever it was. I guess I'm feeling a little sad about all that. Why? You saved everybody. But, I mean, she was the reason why it happened in the first place. We wouldn't have needed to save anybody if it wasn't for me. But don't put yourself down, though. That's not what I was trying to say. Don't worry about it. At least you fixed the situation. I love these choices. I love and hate these choices. Y'all know that. At least you fixed it. Hey, at least we don't have banana zombies running around anymore. Without your help, they'd still be running rampant. Still, they wouldn't have been running around in the first place if it wasn't for me. I should have said, don't worry about it. Well, hey, that's true. But it makes for great TV. Which, inadvertently, is pretty good for keeping me alive. But I keep quiet on that. Besides, you did it because you were trying to help me get my memories back. That means more to me than I can say. I I'm sorry I couldn't do it. If it's okay with you, I'll try again. And I'm sure this time... Let's not worry about that for now. I appreciate it, though. For now, I just want to get to know you better, Scarlet. We got interrupted last time, to say the least. Care to join me in making up for some lost time? That would be fantastic. There's somewhere I'd like to go, if it's okay with you. Lead the way. You won't regret it. Hopefully not. At least I think you won't. <laughs> Real funny. Should I be worried then? Come on, let's go. I'm wondering which one of these girls I'm actually going to end up with. Maybe these choices are affecting that too. She grabbed my hand and pulled me along with her. Who could say no to a girl who could turn you into a zombie? Yeah, you, yeah, you don't want to fuck with that. Where the frick are we at? A nightclub? Behold. There's a nightclub in a mansion? There is now. I made it myself. Granted, I use it more as a testing ground than a real nightclub, but the staff really wanted something to blow off steam in. And okay, I kinda cheated a little bit. I made a robot that made the nightclub for me, but it still counts. I think you're probably the first person to ever say something like that. Also, I didn't know you knew how to build robots. That's amazing. Hell yeah, it's cool. I get the feeling that building things to make people happier is what I enjoyed the most before I came here. What do you mean by that? 
you wouldn't believe me if I told you. Actually, maybe you're the one person that who would. Maybe it's worth a shot telling you. Like she changed, you realize she changed her whole posture from that to, to going back to this. So I just had to point that out. But you know what? Since we're in the nightclub, the vibe is right. How y'all doing? Hope you have a good day, good week, all that good stuff. Snacks better have them. Cause this shit, this shit getting juicy. Cause she be like me? I, there's so much of my life I can't remember for some reason. I'm not even surprised cause we don't either. I couldn't help but raise an eyebrow. There was a lot of broken people after the war in New Asia. Not just broken bones and missing limbs, but shattered minds. People trapped in their own heads. I was told I had a gift for research. A gift that might help those people be able to reclaim their lives. So I finished school early. I got my PhD. And I led a task force dedicated to helping the survivors. We helped them forget their most painful, most traumatic memories. And move on. Sort of. It was my life's work, you know? But now, I can't remember what it was, how it worked, if we even got anywhere with our research. To be completely honest, I can't really remember how I got here either. I'm sorry to ask, but how on earth, how on earth did that happen? If I knew before, I definitely don't know now. Maybe testing got dangerous, and I wasn't willing to test on someone else. That actually sounds a bit right. Maybe. I, I don't know. I don't know. The crazy thing is, I went from that to being on some kind of dating show? What the hell? I guess it does sound pretty weird. And the idea of getting married in one week? Who wrote this, an idiot? Wow, don't talk about the creators like that. <laughs> I couldn't help but laugh. But what do I even have to lose at this point? I wouldn't look at it that way. I can't remember anything either. But I'm alive. As long as I'm alive, I've got nothing to lose and everything to gain. An optimist is, huh? That's worth something. I guess you'd understand better than anyone. What do you plan to do after all this is over? Honestly, I don't even know myself. I want my memories back. But if I can't get them back, I just try to make the best of things. That's some plan. Your tongue out, really? I wasn't asking to see that. I'm still working the details out. Give me a break. At least you remember some things. I couldn't even remember my name at one point. Well, at first, but you know, same thing. You got me beat there. <laughs> we talked for hours about how we both felt about our situations. The good things, the bad things, about forgetting who you are. We laughed about forgetting the embarrassing moments that probably plagued others for a lifetime. We lamp lamented the moments that truly made life worth living the moments that made your life unique it's nice to have someone that understands you know i got a silly idea if you're interested let's hear it what do i got to lose like i said getting engaged in the week is stupid and a person who'd agree to that is even stupider than that but i i think i'd say yes if it were you sean if only to see where life goes with someone like you. That's... Shh, shh. Let me finish. Let me finish. Don't talk. Regardless of who you asked on the last day, i like to be your friend on the time to, in the times to come. If, if you'll be mine. I can't remember the last time I had a friend to just talk to about how I feel. But like you said, you can't remember much anyway. I think this was the first time that I felt a little better about what happened. I want you to feel better about the past too. I don't want you to feel alone in this world. It's sad enough, you know, which it really is. I, I, I'm, so, I'm sorry to say, it, but it really is. And maybe I'm just being foolish, but who knows? Maybe if we're still in each other's lives after all this, we'll be able to help each other take back the lives we want. What do you say? I was thinking the same thing, Scarlet. I'm glad, but uh, how to say, I still prefer it if you picked me. What can I say? I'm a bit competitive, like all girls are. On second thought, I'm very competitive. Just saying. But out of all the girls, I'm the best educated, had the most illustrious career, 
won first place in the National New Asian Science Exhibition. And I laughed out loud as she listed her accomplishments one by one. She made angry faces at me in mock anger. But most of all, I want you to have a happy life. And I think someone else might get it wrong. How do you know? We spent the rest of the evening enjoying each other's company. The laughter and smiles never stopped, as she never let go of my hand during our walk. Well, that's nice. But you know, just so you know, I've done this with every other, well, except Tara, but I've done this with the other girls, too. Well, actually, not Allie. D no, them two. Everybody else, yeah. Alright, we done with the date. Seems like a nice night for a walk. I knew we was going to find Kat. Oh! Hey, Sean, what are you doing out here? Just going out for a walk. Care to join me? Sure, why not? I got a few minutes. How about we do a circle around the mansion grounds? Sounds good to me. So how'd your date with Scarlet go? Were you not watching? I thought you were recording everything. Ah, are we already back to our daily interviews? Did the island run out of wine? <laughs> That's totally, wholly unrelated. But yes, it, they did. <laughs> Anyway, my date with Scar today was... No, I like it. Amazing. I feel like I really got to know the real Scarlet today. And for the first time, I feel like I've been truly... I've truly been understood. I'm glad to hear that, Sean. Really. Scarlet puts on a front that's nothing like how she really is. I'm glad you can see behind it. She must really trust you. I'm glad she does, believe me. More importantly, though... Scarlet's fan base have been ravenous for new content. From what I saw, I'd say you delivered. I'm a solid 85% sure you won't wake up in the torture chamber tomorrow. Good job, Sean. 85... 85%. That's a whole... At least 15% of not waking up in the torture chamber tomorrow. I think that... I think that's 15%. I think. Thanks? <laughs> like, you don't know whether to be happy or not. Keep up with what you're doing. Our ratings really have been climbing higher and higher every day. But it's not time to celebrate just yet. I know. Don't worry. I'm just sticking to the plan. That's good to hear. Seriously, if you got yourself killed by not following the plan at this point, you deserve it. Alright, don't say that. Come on now. We're not doing that. Looks like we finished our walk. Anyway, I gotta get back to work. But it was a nice break. Night, Sean. Night, Cat. I walked back to my room and plopped on my bed. Time to get some shut-eye. But not really because we're going back to this shit. The scent of something delicious being freshly baked wafted through with the kitchen. I can't talk today. It's just the two of us. Looks like this batch didn't turn out well either. Now this is making me think this is Violet. See, I'm telling you, this game is doing this shit on purpose. She frowned. Hey, on a bright side, I can at least tell that it's bread this time. Maybe not, because Violet knows how to cook. I don't freaking know anymore. I'm going to stop guessing. Uh-oh, that wasn't the right thing to say. It, it has been a while since I've done this. Sorry, Sean. I, I wanted you to have something good. I reached for one of the pieces of bread. Wait, I'm sure that it's... I took one bite, then wolfed the bread down like it was the last of its kind. It's delicious! I reached for another to prove my point. You really need it? I took a moment to wolf down a second piece. Crossed my heart. You're just saying that! She smiled. That's the moment I've been waiting for. She hugged me with all her might. But, but I love that about you, you know? I love you, Sean. I held her tight. I love you too. Whatever your name is, I still don't know who the hell you are, like which one you are. For a moment, the whole world was just me and her. And that was all that mattered. What I wouldn't give to have you back like this. Still don't know who it is. I, we're gonna find out some, some steep shit. What the, okay, this is already some. I know I've heard this beat before, but come on. The next day, I woke up to the sound of an explosion outside. I ran outside fast as I could. 
What the? Okay. I, I knew it had to be Scarlet. The first thing I saw was Scarlet and black smoke emulating from the ground near her. Oh, hey there, Sean. Nice weather we're having, huh? Hey, Scarlet. You okay? What you doing out here, girl? I'm pretty good, all things considered. I've been experimenting again on trying to bring back people's memories without the whole monkey zombie bit. So what are you trying now, bombs? Cause I heard freaking, I heard an explosion. I figured, if you and I ever well, you know, I want us to know everything about each other. No secrets. I like that, thank you, thank you. I'll let you know if I make any progress with that though. Uh, I gotta clean this up now. Give me a minute, and then we can head to the forest? I've been meaning to spend some time there since I got to this island. Sounds good by me. Wait, wait, wait. We already did our date with her. How are we just going with her already? Nah, this is... Oh, oh. Something's about to happen. I feel it. We walked together through the forest, hand in hand. Talking about things we do after we got off this island. Talking about everything and anything. After we're off this island, whatever happens, do you maybe want to catch a movie together? Sure, but why a movie? You can laugh, but there's a part of me that just wants to be a regular girl for a day. That's something I could never forget. And I'd like it to be that way. With you. Wait, I said that wrong. And I'd like it if I could be that way. With you. What do you say? I'd like that too. Yay! <laughs> she had to say yay. Scarlet did a little dance of happiness. We spent the rest of the morning together in the woods, enjoying each other's company. And maybe a little more than that. What do you mean? What do you mean? Somehow, in the middle of it all, I forgot what kind of show I was on in the first place. It was just me and her. In this moment, more than ever, I was glad to be alive. That's nice and all, but uh, we got a date with freaking um, Allie today, don't we? Morning, Sean. How'd you sleep? Morning? So what time was that that we did that with her? I, I don't know. They don't ever tell us this. Pretty well, considering how you edit the footage that keeps me alive. Drunk. That sounds like a win-win to me, if you ask me. Can you believe it? We're already on the sixth day of the show. Is it already? Time sure goes by fast. I'm bullshitting. No kidding. Anyway, it's time to wrap up phase two. You just need to go on a second date with your last soulmate candidate. Shouldn't be too hard, no? Please do not jinx me. I don't need that shit right now. Break a leg. Seriously, actually breaking the leg would be a lot better for you than messing up today's date. Not helping. Time to get second. Today's date started with none other than my third, third soulmate candidate, Ali. I, I really... Uh, well, why am I messing up my words today? What she got planned for me? Howdy, Sean. You ready for round two? I figured you might want to hang out somewhere where roller baits won't <laughs> won't work. <laughs> Aw, I spent all my night dreaming of the next chance I can use those two little death machines. Then I think you'll love what we got in store today. There's no weird wheels where we're going. What do you mean? You'll see. Follow me. Uh, first, I'm going to need you to close your eyes, though. I'm not sure I like where this is going. Nothing to worry about, Sean. I'll be right next to you the whole time. Because that's always going well. Hasn't it? <laughs> you dick. Allie moved behind me and covered my eyes with her hands. Now let's just keep moving forward. Trust me. Right. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't somewhat enjoying this. My heart skipped a beat when she wrapped her arms around me. He's thinking like a typical guy. And I can't say I blame him because I'd probably say the same thing. I cautiously took step after step forward. First I felt dirt, then sand, then water? Are you trying to make me drown myself? Of course not. Though I have to admit, this does look a lot how, how they killed people back in the day. Don't say that shit. <laughs> he says nothing. Ah, uh, you're gonna really wanna take a high step forward next, or it's gonna hurt. I raised my right leg as high as I could. Then I stepped forward. Something clanged, like metal. Next, I brought off my left leg. Keep your eyes closed for just a second longer. I just gotta do one thing. 
Ali let go of me, then took a few steps forward. Brace yourself! Wait, wait, what's... I was knocked off feet by the sudden movement and opened my eyes on reflex. Wait, are we on a freaking boat? Water sprayed into my body as I struggled to regain my balance. All aboard the SS St. Alley. We're on the freaking boat. What the, where the hell did she get a boat? Pretty cool, right? I found this baby in the back of the mansion this morning. And they let you take it. You just found it? Anyway, I asked Kat if I could take it for a spin. Yeah, I, I thought so. She said as long as we stay within a few clicks of the island, we're good. Or the engine will automatically shut off. So I thought, why not have a little joyride around the island? What could go wrong? That's what you said the other day, right? What could go wrong? There's no fun in thinking that, is there? So why bother? Why indeed. Thought the person stuck on a life or death dating show. Yeah, remember that. Oh, she don't know that. We cruise around the island for a while, taking note of the different buildings covering the island. The mansion seemed so small from way out here. Hours flew by as we cruised around. Now it's nighttime. Allie took a deep breath inside. You okay, Allie? You don't seem as chipper as usual. Yeah, I saw her face change. I, I guess I'm a little homesick. It has nothing to do with you, I promise. I, I just... I'm just worried about my old man. Wait, do you mean old man as in... Old man as in like your dad or something? Or your old man like... Like your old squeeze? Tell me something. I'm sorry. Wasn't your father... Oh, okay, she was talking about her dad. Oh yeah, ah uh, yeah, he's long gone. You know the old story about New Asia? I'm talking about Bill. He was a good friend of my dad's, and he's taking care of me and a whole lot of other kids. Oh, sounds like a cool dude. This is getting really, really sad. You sure have a way with words, don't you, Sean? I don't dwell much on the past. It just slows you down. I couldn't agree more than that. Like, really. Like, really. Is that the amnesia talking? Who knows anymore? She laughed as she put her hand tenderly against my cheek. Oh, tenderly? Wait, 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 wait. I'm more worried that he'll get himself into trouble if I'm not around to keep him in check. What's he like? Let's just say that a lot of how I act is from him, but I'm much more restrained. If you're like this, I guess I wouldn't survive a single day hanging out with him. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Exactly what I said. You heard it, right? Oh, nothing at all. Allie made a sharp turn. That sudden force almost threw me out of the boat. You bitch. Come on now. Hey, what was that for? Oh, nothing at all. Don't use my words. Do not use my words and try to taunt me like that. I couldn't help but smile at her. She was practically shining when she had that devilish grin. I'm sure he's doing just fine, Allie. He's probably watching right now, just to make sure you're safe. You're probably right now that I think about it. He always wastes the day watching shitty reality TV shows. <laughs> Which gives me an idea. What is that? With one hand on the wheel, Allie turned to me and kissed me on the lips. Whoa, whoa. Did not expect her to do that. I kissed her back. It felt like lightning was running through my veins. But wait, if you're kissing me, who's taking care of the boat? Who's driving the boat? The boat started to rock back and forth like I thought, more and more in control of me. But we didn't stop. That's gotta give Bill a heart attack. <laughs> Seriously, what kind of father lets their daughter go on a trashy show like this? Okay, are you mad? I couldn't help but laugh. Eh, whatever. It's been a fun ride so far. And here's to the next one with you, Sean. She kissed me again, sending the boat into an erratic frenzy. Bro, you, you gonna stop that. Take control of the boat. Look at the boat. Look at the freaking steering wheel. We spent the rest of the day together, cruising around the boat, until we ran out of daylight. Okay, I did not expect her to get that bold, but... I ain't gonna say I didn't like it, though. What? I'm feeling a little bit of late night munchies. Guess I'll head downstairs. Munchies? You ain't had no weed? Why you got the munchies? Oh, hey Sean. 
I was just about to go up to check in on you. Hey there, cat. What's up? I know what she's going to ask me. Huh. There were some fancy desserts here from last week, but I couldn't find them anywhere. Guess I'll take that out of the Brothers Five's paychecks. How you know it was them? They're like clockwork. But then there's Allie right there. Munch. See? You don't know shit. This was the Brothers Five. No doubt about it. Allie made direct eye contact with me, then hightailed it out. Yeah, okay. Anyway, I've been meaning to talk with you. What's up now? How'd your date with Allie today go? I knew she was gonna say that. Stop saying that shit, and all you're gonna say is that. It was pretty great. There's never a dull moment with Allie. I'm just scratching the surface, but I like what I see, and I really want to get to know her more, just like everybody else in here. Interesting, interesting, that's good. Allie's pretty out there as far as people go. I can see why she'd have a hard time opening up. But from what I saw today, I'm sure if he opened up to somebody, it'd be you. People thought she didn't have much of a chance here. I guess you two are proving them wrong. Yeah, I guess so. Well, that should be enough footage for today. Thanks, Sean. You'll be happy to know that phase two of the plan was a smashing success. That is great to hear. No kidding. The love square? It's got viewers on the edge of their seats. You've actually broken a record for ratings on a killer dating, ah, uh, killer dating game show. That's not as niche as it sounds. Well, niche. I said niche. Niche. Do I get a plaque for that? That's got to count for something, somewhere. We don't have it printed out yet, but I prepare your tombstone in advance if you're looking for a, a souvenir. Real funny cat. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Let it never be said that I'm anything but supportive. Huh? Anyway, we're on to phase three. It's pretty much the same as phase two, except with third dates this time. And one caveat. I think that's how you say that word. What's that, cat? I'm sure you got a favorite of mine between the three girls you're dating now. If you want to maximize your chances of getting out here alive, save the best for last. It gives audiences something to look forward to. Sound good to you? Don't have a choice anyway if it does make sense. Good. That's all for today. I'll see you later. Night, Sean. Yeah, good night, Cat. And thanks for the help until now, Cat. I realize I'll probably be screwed without you. Don't thank me yet. I remember she said that before. Why do we keep thanking her then? Oh my gosh, I can't. Walk back to the room. Yeah, shut eye. What now? The music is different from the last two times. So what's this supposed to do? Scarlet? They actually showed this time who? Was it Scarlet this whole time? It's only a prototype, but technical details out aside, you could think of it as a memory rewriter. So it rewrites memories? Pretty much. Think of it like a surgeon's scapula. With it, you could make someone forget things as big as who they are, or something as small as a specific conversation. So if you use this on someone, anything's fair game. You could erase anything you wanted. Exactly. Well, maybe it's not really a scalpel, since it comes with a reset button. It's sad though. This was supposed to help people after the war. I, I was supposed to help people after the war. I'm sorry, Scarlet. Don't worry about it. I may not be able to help them, but it doesn't mean I can't help you and your partner escape from this madness. Wait, now that shit's, now that shit's racking my brain because now you and your partner. So we knew Scarlet back then because you and your partner. So it's obviously not Scarlet. We could just rip her out of the pages of who could, who that person could be. Oh my gosh, this is getting, this is getting juicy. I can't stop now. I this will go on for like an hour or so because y'all, I need to see this. Thank you, really. Thank you so much. I know you're taking an incredible risk for us. That honestly, most people would never. Don't mention it, Sean. It's what I do. Wait, so if she knew us back then, well, obviously everybody got their memory erased, but we knew her back then. What the hell? Well, I guess that's what it's implying. Because you and your partner, where are we at then? 
if they try if they manage to trace it back to me then I'll accept whatever comes no that's sad it'd be the first time I helped somebody in quite some time Scarlet the boat is just past the woods behind a rocky in enclave near the beach it, it won't be there forever so act quickly I'm now I'm messing up on my words because I'm just confused It'd be suicide to go for it during the day, so I recommend heading there near midnight. Thank you, Scarlet. Be sure you don't want to come with us? Someone has to stay here to help the people that fall on this spider's web. You don't have to be so noble now. I envy her, you know, to get to leave this place with you. So obviously any of the girls that we pick in the end isn't her. But someone needs to stay here and do what's right. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, shoot. That really just made me feel even worse than I felt before. Cause now I don't know who the hell it could be. It's obviously not her. Take her out of the fucking equation. A beach scene. Seriously? Not only gratitudous, but oh so predictable. Oh come on, it's the beach. Don't be so negative. I, I guess you're right. It's not every day you get to go to the beach. Are you alright, Tara? You've looked better. Talk to her actively crawling on the beach sand like a zombie in one arm. Sunlight, my worst enemy. We meet again, you piece of shit. There's some shade under the beach umbrellas over there, Tara. You look like you could use it. <laughs> I swear I've never seen Tara move so fast. Let's go in the water, come on. Scarlet grabbed Violet by her hand and pulled her towards the water. Ah, but I didn't bring anything to change. I guess it doesn't matter now. Now that's the spirit. Wait up, you guys. And just like that, they're off. You up to join them? It'd be crazy to miss out on this. Just one thing first. Allie put me in her arms and kissed me passionately. What the hell? This girl, this girl loves to kiss me. What the hell? I mean, like I said, I'm not saying I don't enjoy it, but why? It's hotter when the other girls are around. You think they saw? I couldn't stop my jaw from dropping. I'd do the same shit as him. The look on your face is priceless. Priceless. <laughs> my gosh. Try to keep up. Allie ran to join the other girls in the water. So this girl just loves kissing me. What the hell, Allie? I'm not not in the like, I'm not saying it in a bad way. I smiled and followed suit. We spent the rest of the morning enjoying the warm weather on the beach. Nah, I can't stop it now, y'all. I cannot. I don't care how long this video is. Morning, Sean. Let's kick off phase three. Hopefully, we can wrap this up quickly and you'll be back to your old life soon. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I better be. As nice as this island is, it's a gilded cage. You'll be able to go back to your old life soon. That's a promise. Don't make promises you can't keep because I don't even believe you on that one. Well, unless you make a mess out of these next three dates. I can't help you there then. But assuming you do, you get to leave here with one of the three girls you're dating now. But first, it's time to pick which one of them you'll be going on a third date with. Alright, so this time, that time we did it, that... Now who should we do? Should we do it like that again? I mean, should we do it like this? Because we're not doing it like that again. I really want to see where things go with Allie. Like, I'm actually, I'm actually like, freaking, not fiending over her, but like, out of all three of them, She's first. Allie. To be honest, I'm not sure if your dates with Allie are really dates or more of just trying different kinds of transportation. But hey, whatever floats your boat. Real funny, we used the boat last time. Let's get these cameras rolling. What you got for me, Allie? She gonna kiss me when we first see each other? I found Allie by the beach. Or more accurately, she came running to me. You're not gonna believe this, Sean. What's that? Alright. Who took my keys? Huh? You got 10 seconds before I take it out of Ford's paycheck. Oh, come on. Uh, we'll walk and talk then. Come on. Well, let's walk. More like run like hell. Ford's not going to be happy when he finds out that I... Oh, uh, whatever. Come on, let's go. She took the damn keys. What? The keys to what? Oh, shoot. Where are we going? She grabbed my hand and pulled me her, with her into the forest clearing nearby. What's going on? You're not going to believe what I just found. What's that? 
Well, I was wondering how to top the previous two dates when I stumbled upon... Oh, wait a minute. It's better if I surprise you. I'm gonna have to close my eyes again, <laughs> right? I love how fast you learn things. <laughs> oh, great. She was singing as she covered my eyes with one hand and pulled me along with the other. She's getting really, really touchy. Like, I, I, I'm... <sighs> she pulled me along step by step. I can't say I wasn't enjoying it. Is this... A staircase? It feels like metal beneath me. In the middle of a forest? Just a bit more now. Alright. I don't know where we're at. You can open your eyes now. How on earth? We were inside a small plane. The very same one I really awakened in my first day here. I'm surprised you remembered that. I was just, It was just sitting in the forest. So I thought, why not, right? I have so many questions. Wait a minute, are you planning on... Without even bothering to answer me, Allie rushed to the cockpit. Oh crap. Here's the hoping that this goes better than the rollerblades. Huh. I wonder what this big red button does. Oh, get me out of here now. I ran for the door, but it was already shut tight. You can't get out from the inside? That's weird. And away we go! The engine in the plane roared as we took off. I slammed it to the side of the door. You sure we're not going to get in trouble for this since she did take her damn keys? Oof! Come on, be honest. You were thinking the same thing. I really wasn't, actually. You put a big, juicy red button there, completely unattended, and you'd expect a good sister like me not to press it? You're crazy. You've got a point, but do you have any idea on how to fly this thing? Wait a minute, if you're talking to me here, then who's actually flying the plane? Yeah, she didn't. She don't have an answer for that. Technically nobody, but you better get your ass up. And we crashed. The right wing of the plane smashed into a tree. We hit it hard enough for it to be slightly deformed. Oof. I slammed into the wall yet again. <laughs> well, we don't need that wing anyway. We still have the other one. Why do you sound so nonchalant about this shit? We're crashing. Exactly like kidneys. Okay, maybe I don't like her after all. She's too... She's too freaking... She's a daredevil, and I don't like that. Forget killer dating death shows. Forget Damien and Cat. Allie was gonna be the death of me. I tried to run back to the cockpit, but all I could, all I could do to stay up tight as the plane teetered back and forth. I'm just kidding. I've got this. Allie ran to the cockpit without breaking a sweat. Meanwhile, I did my best impression of a ball in the pinball machine. <laughs> Just thinking about that is funny as hell. Alright, I've got this. The plane seemed to stabilize in a matter of seconds. So you were just, you were just playing around. Don't do that. My life was in danger. Oh, thank God. I, I really thought we were gonna... Crash again like we just fucking did. Oops! Once again, the right wing of the plane smashed into a tree. Somehow, it was bent back into its original shape. I think she did that on purpose, actually. Not so bad if I do say so myself. Alright, that was dumb luck, and you know it. And now, for the moment you've all been waiting for. We started gaining altitude. Slowly at first, then faster, and faster, higher, and higher. I ain't gonna lie, the first time I ever flew on a plane, when I felt that, I was generally scared shitless. Cause that, it didn't, it felt weird. Before long, we were soaring high above the trees. Ali yelled out in triumph. Woo! I joined it and yelled out with glee. It's a pretty great feeling, huh? Not dying in a fiery plane crash? Flying free. Without it, what's the point of living? You talk about freedom or flying? Why not both? That said, there's another reason I flew us up here. What's that, Ali? This is the only place on the... Why did the... Hold on. Why the freak is the music different? This is the only place I could find on an island that wasn't bugged. No one can eavesdrop on us here. And sorry for the turbulence, but without it, they might have heard me disable the bugs in here. What the hell? What do you mean disable the bug? How do you know how to do that? Believe me, I looked for a safe place as hard as I could. That's why I got the roller baits and the boat earlier. To find a safe place to talk and fast as possible. I'm guessing you know what the show is really about then since you got all this in your mind. 
Unfortunately, yeah. What a bummer, am I right? Unfortunately, I don't think you do. And I can't risk telling you everything either. Actually, I kind of do, so you can't say that. I'm about to just blow your mind right now. What? Why? Believe me, you're better off not knowing. What? Allie? What are you hiding? Who are you really? Look, we don't have too much time before we'll have to land. This thing is almost already out of fu out of fuel. Sure enough, we already started descending. Please, just trust me. I'm on your side. I'm on your side, Sean. I know there's so many lies going on around here, but I really want to help you get out of here. Though I have to admit, it wasn't on my to-do list at first. It's a good thing you're so cute. So, was that kissing thing just a part of your act, or did you actually mean it? Because you just said I'm so cute. Even though, you know. Yeah. I'm kidding. Jeez. Do you trust me? Don't give me the fucking option because I don't know who I can trust on here. She just says she knew some shit that I'm not supposed to know, but I think I already do know it because that's what Kat told me about. That's what she's gonna tell me. I'ma just have to trust her. Of course I do, Allie, you know that. But you won't regret it, promise. So what can you tell me? Look, no time. Long story short, there's something on this island I need to find out that the people I work with need. It's life or death. Not for just you or me, but for countless others. I came here to save you all, and I won't give up until I have. What is she, like an FBI agent? Hold on. So at this point, I've done all I can. It's in his hands now. Who, who, his, who's, no time to talk. We're almost back in rage at the island's recording network. No matter what, don't tell anybody what happened here. Not even a little bit. Not even if you think you could trust him. Are we clear? Crystal. The plane flew lower and lower. All right, we're about to be back in the recording zone. What else? What else? Ah, don't do anything I wouldn't do. That doesn't really limit anything. I guess not. Wow. And then here's Cat. Oh my gosh. So we just got, so we know that she's not in on it, but she knows about this freaking place. After we landed, Cat scolded us for taking the plane. Cat and Ali seemed to have shaved more than a few uneasy glances as we got off the plane. She might be an FI agent, but luckily nothing came out of came of it. Next, the production staff separated Ali and I. Looks like Cat had arranged something special for the two of us. All I was told that I wasn't allowed to see Ali until the evening. Apparently, that's the nicest time to film. I don't believe that shit. Until then, the production team helped me to look the part of a romantic novel protagonist. I was dressed to the nines. I must say, I must have sat through a few hundred photo shoots and interviews before they told me it was time to see her. But it was worth it. What she looked like? Wow, even for this island, this place is fancy with a capital F. We've been to this place like freaking three or four times already. Tell me about it, man. I broke one plate here and I'll have to pay it off for the rest of my life. That's sad, actually. I mean, welcome to the Ocean Palace. Allow me to show you to your seat. Two gestured, me, gestured at me to follow him. We only taken a few steps when I saw her, and when I did, I couldn't help but crack up. Okay, she's not dressed up. I mean, we don't see that she's dressed up, but I can only imagine what she was actually wearing. You know, I kind of expect you to be dressed up too, given all the shit the crew put me through. What's the point? it just get ruined. How would it get ruined? Oh, you'll see. Come on. Oh, boy. She reached my hand. I put mine in hers with a smile on my face. She pulled me along with her towards the door. Whoa! We stumbled against a table, which knocked the plate onto the floor. It promptly shattered into a million pieces. Uh oh In case you were watching, Cat, that was two. I knew I should have been just an accountant. She laughed as she pulled me along with her to the outside. The night air never tasted so fresh. Each breath of air as we ran along the road made my worries and fears just disappear. Eventually, we ran all the way to the beach. Come on! She tightened her hand and pulled me along with her to the water. Wait, just the... Uh... She laughed like a maniac as she cannonballed us into the ocean. 
My first instinct was to swim back up to the surface, but then Allie put her hands against my face and looked deep into my eyes. She smiled, then kissed me passionately. Okay, so again, kissing me passionately, does she actually like me or is she just doing that for the cameras? I still don't understand. It was if, it would, it was it's if had taught, ah, I can't, what the freak is wrong with me? Do I need to drink some water? It was as if time had stopped. A few moments later, we went back up to the surface. I figured you could use a fun distraction from everything that happened earlier. Was she doing this for me? I never know what to expect with you, you know? And you never will. That might not be a good thing. It was a night to remember. Oh boy. I'm getting more and more scared about what we're actually getting ourselves into. The fact is, she... We know now that she knows what this place is and what type of show we're on. Why didn't we tell her that we knew what was going on too? Why didn't we if she already knew? I don't get that. I would have because if she tell me she already knows about this place and what kind of show we're on, yeah, you should have said something. And just like that, it's my last date with Allie. Time sure by, goes by quickly. I thought I'd find you here. Why is that? You tend to come out here when you're lost in thought is all. You're thinking about how the show's almost over, am I right? How'd you know? Lucky guess. Well, it's not over yet, so don't let up just yet. Speaking of which, how was your date with Allie today? Yeah, it was awesome, I ain't gonna lie. I probably shouldn't tell the whole truth, but enough of it should be good. It was awesome. I don't know how, but the more time I spend with Allie, the better it gets. Being married to her will make every day an adventure. And I like the sound of that. It sure be an adventure, but the jury's out on if it's one you walk away from. But I can see she makes you happy. Really, that counts for a lot nowadays. Thought you might want to start wearing body armor if you want to stay that way. <laughs> Real funny. Anyway, I'd ask you if you're thinking of choosing her at the end, but I'd rather wait and see how it plays out. You are gonna stay out here for long? Nah, I'll probably be going back inside soon. I'll keep you company until then. I figure you might want to have a conversation with someone that won't get you killed if it's not TV worthy. Thanks, Cat, but I still don't trust you. Don't mention it. You know, I'm curious, Cat. What's up? Let's just say, let's say I knew I was screwed. There was no way of me getting out of here alive. Why is he asking her this? She might, she might think I know something. The only way for, oh. I, Y'all can pause that if y'all can in enough time because I couldn't read that. Would you let me escape? Dot dot dot. Of course, Sean. I think she's lying. I really don't I really don't trust her. Thanks, Kat. That means a lot. It's no big deal. We stayed out here for a little longer before we called it a night. I'm lucky I have someone who I can trust on my side. Yeah, I really I I'm not we've been recording for an hour. We're gonna keep it going, because I need to see how these days play out. Huh. Well, this isn't the worst place I thought I'd wake up to yesterday. What's that supposed to mean? I'll take that as a compliment? Yeah, see, I don't know whether to take that as a compliment or not. She laughed and pinched my cheek. Well, it's been a blast, Sean. I have some more cruising around to do, and I think you've got another date on your plate today. Yeah, that's how the show goes. Sar. And she's gone. Before I had a chance to finish. That woman is a force of nature. But we know now what she's capable of. Alright. Morning, Sean. You'd be happy to know. Yeah, you know what? I don't even I don't even read this shit. Not the highest rate we have so far, but it gave us enough room to keep going because all y'all didn't see the real shit, that's why. Sounds good enough to me. For your next date, make sure you pick someone who think audience uh whatever. I think you're a pretty good spot either way. You know what? Scar we'll save Scar for last. Tara. Man. If I'd known you were going to spend all your days with Tara indoors, I would have just booked a mansion. But sometimes the best things in life aren't the most expensive ones. Who knew? Just kidding. You never, you've never, you ever seen a depressed person who owns an island? Go get him, Tiger. Actually, maybe most people are depressed that own a mansion. Now that I'm thinking about it, I found Tara sleeping on a sofa in the games room. She's always in the games room. She looks so peaceful. Maybe I'll come back later. Zombies! Everywhere! Ah! She bolted up suddenly. Uh, you okay? Whoa. 
You okay, Tara? Whew. It was just a dream. I'm good now. No worries. Seems like it was a pretty crazy dream, though. No kidding. I dreamed that we all got turned into zombies. Luckily, there's no way that could ever happen. I wouldn't say that. D did you go to bed late? Hell yeah. I spent all night working on the game. And I finished it, too. Care to join me in testing it out? I, uh... Added some new features I'd like you to try. Sure, I'd love to. It looked like the same game I had played before. What am I looking for? You'll see. Uh oh. I started up the game. Moments later, I saw Terra's avatar run up to me. You made it just in time. The new event is about to start. What's the new event? As on cue, giant robotic pigeons flew from the sky and started to attack our avatars. Ah! Run for my life. Oh, and fight the pigeons. You give me the choice? Fuck these pigeons. I ran for dear life. Don't worry, I got you. Tara poured out a giant can of pigeon repellent and started blasting away. Whoa, I think something bugged. It's not working at all. I guess I gotta fix that. <laughs> While Tara was laughing at her own mistake, I was being lifted into the sky by the pigeons. I think I'm screwed. Where are the pigeons taking me? I tried to move my avatar. But there was no way to resist the death grip of the Robo Pigeon. Don't worry, they're about to fly into the territory of the Maple Syrup Dragon. The what? Uh oh. The screen lit up as a blast of flying maple syrup. With a blast of flying maple syrup. I never thought I'd ever say something like that, but here we are. The Maple Syrup slammed into the pigeons and forcefully stuck their wings together. As a consequence, they started to fall to the ground at breakneck speed. They're still holding, right? Save me, I haven't saved yet. Oh, I knew I forgot something. I forgot to add the ability to save. I'll have to write that down. As Sarah took notes, I rapidly fell into my doom. How the hell do you forget the save option? I'm happy for you, but if you could just for a minute. My avatar smacked us to the ground, pigeon first, instantly died on impact. Oh man, I had so much stuff though. Is there at least a respawn mechanic? mechanic? I never died before in this game. Of course! Just hit the retry button. I pressed the button and watched the world out around me reset to the village, saying it's the giant beast of death. Except now, the village seemed ten times bigger than before. Wait, when did the village get so big? And then it dawned on me. Wait, it's not the village that got big. I got small! I took a careful, more careful look at my avatar. I was a pigeon again. I sighed deeply. At the same time, Tara was giggling, giggling like a child. We spent a few more hours... Oh my gosh, y'all read that. Cause I, I'm not even pushing anything and it's just going like that. Thankfully, there were more, no more pigeon Easter eggs. There's a, one thing I want to test... One last thing I'm going to test out if that's okay. Will it end with me getting turned to a pigeon? N no. Just come with me. I followed her avatar into the cabin we shared in the woods. When we got there, she turned around... Walk up to me, held out an item I've never seen before. A ring? She walked up to me and gave me an item called Ring of You're Pretty Cool. Oh, okay, I thought she was proposing to me. I'm like, whoa, what's this? Um, let me try to explain. I came onto the show with no idea what, what, what it was about. Personally, I thought it was stupid at first, but hanging out with you has been so much fun. I never really got to work on my hobbies with anybody until I met you. Honestly, I never had someone to share all my crazy shit with, but you, you're different. I am, because I do like this shit too. So I, I guess what I'm trying to say is, you're pretty cool, and I hope we can keep doing this even after the show is over. I, I'd love to. I'd love to. You don't even have to ask. I've got to say, you've caught me off guard with this. I thought she was about to propose to me, like I said. Why is that? You're giving this ring to me, well, it could be a little misleading. You're not making any sense. Yeah, she don't get it. We laughed together, then walked back to the mansion with a spring in our step. We played the day away, without a care in the world. Well, that's enough gaming for today. You up for a movie date? Oh, she's, a, she's suggesting that? Sure, what do you want to watch? It's a Hitchcock film. I've always wanted to see it. What's it called? The birds. <laughs> I saw that one. I felt a blood vessel in my head pop. 
This woman is bad for my heart. But she never fails to put a smile on my face. Which is good, though. That's good. After my date with Tara, I waited outside until the time I expected to see Kat. But she never showed up. Oh, shoot. I was expecting Kat to be here, but I guess she already had enough footage for today. Might as well try to find her. No, don't try to find her. No one's here. Looks like the snacks from before are gone, too. She's somewhere. Not here either. Tara's still in there. Ah. There she is. Cat was at a table, writing something down at a frantic pace, with one hand against her head. Hey, Cat, what's up? Dot, dot, dot. Hmm? Oh, hey, Sean. I didn't see you there. How are you doing? I still don't understand that freaking painting or well, picture in the back. Like, why she posed with Damien like that? Something's going on. It depends on what you're ominous, ominously asking. You just look like someone who I realized was dead meat. Who just realized I was dead meat. Oh, this? Don't worry about it. Nah, I'm gonna worry about it. Somebody's dead meat, but it's not you. Who is it? <laughs> who is it? Not no yay. I'm just kidding. I'm just fixing up some of the balance sheet too was working on. Being an accountant was never really in the cards for them, despite what they say. Sit down. I'll be stuck here a while anyway. Sounds good, I guess. I sat next to Cape Cat at the table. So how's today's date with Tara? Yeah, it was awesome. We didn't do anything crazy, but it didn't have to be. I could tell. It was keep watching you guys. Though to be honest, I wish your relationship would move along a little faster. The show's not getting any longer, you know. That said, I feel like you two will make a pretty good team in the long run. Anyway, you've done great till now. I don't know if what you said to each of the girls really is true, but don't stop now. You just have to get through one more day, and you'll finally be able to leave this place. Yeah, y'all, I'm going to keep this going until this final date to see what happens. Because last time we did that, we freaking got mine, uh, our brains freaking, um, our memories wiped. That's what I was trying to say. And you tell me what my old life was like? Of course. I mean, if I didn't, where would you even go? Fair point. Why is she... Why she look sad? You look like you got something on your mind. I, I'm just thinking about tomorrow. You've been getting the best ratings I've ever seen. I just hope it's enough. The rating requirements for the last day and the last day are the highest. I'm sure it's gonna be fine. Don't worry. I've made it this far. Nothing's gonna stop me from making it to the end. I'd hope. I hope so for your sake, Sean. Uh huh. So when I'm out of here, what are you going to do? Are you going to move on to the next killer dating show? I didn't know you were my career coach. You want to know my five-year plan, too? I get the feeling that five years from now, you'd rather not be here. There is no plan. What? I'm just taking it one day at a time. That's really all anyone could do in a crazy world that we live in. Anyway, I got to get back to work. Good luck, Sean. You'll definitely need it. Yeah, we know. Yeah, good night. Tomorrow's gonna be the last date. I'll need all the rest I can get. Guess I'll call tonight. The performance is coming to the close to a close. Uh-oh. The actors and actresses came out, one by one, ready to take their bows. I'm guessing they're not talking about actual an actual performance. I would have clapped, but I'm waiting for you and only you. That's all we get for that? Oh shoot. I woke up on the floor of the games room. Tara was sleeping on the sofa, with one hand still on her game console. We had spent all night playing games and watching movies, like it was our own little sleepover. Pigeons, zombies everywhere! Ah! And then she was done. Let's hope this insane show never gets to the point where Tara's dreams make sense. Oh man, my head's pounding, but I've got no regrets. Me neither. We've got to do this again sometime soon, Sean. You bet. Is it time for you to go on a date with somebody else now? Yeah, that's just how it is. It's in the contract. Alright, have fun. Save some time for gaming with me later, okay? I will. Awesome. Uh, we already know who's last. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'd never like to see his face. I never like to see his face because there's always something bad news he's giving out. 
You're running out of time, Kit Kat. It's gonna be fine. Just watch. Good morning, Cat. Good morning, Sean. How'd you sleep? Pretty well, thanks. I, you bet you did. That bed is worth more than your life. Ah, that reminds me. Why can't the staff have the same kind of bed that Sean has? Do I look like I'm made of money? That mansion says otherwise. Yes, it does, actually. You literally own this island. If I give the staff beds, the next thing that they'd ask is for minimum wage. No thanks. You don't even give them minimum wage? Oh, y'all y'all need to get out of here. I didn't even know that. He walked away. So, how about that five-year plan, huh? Maybe the brothers were onto something with this whole accounting thing. Anyway, it's time for your last date with your last so with, with Scarlet. I'm not even gonna say last so many candidate. You ready? It's time to make or break. I'll be ready as I'll ever be. Then without further ado, lights, camera. Don't get yourself killed. Well, we're gonna try not to. I found Scarlet in the same place I met her. Oh yeah, we did meet her here. It's been so long ever since I remembered where we met everybody. She was engrossed in a book with a pile of books next to her. They look warm, as if they've been read over and over through the years. Not surprised if they are. Hey there, Scarlet. What you reading? Hi, Sean. Just an old fairy tale. Really? I'd surpri I'm surprised you'd read something that would throw science out the window. I'm a woman of varied taste. Well, you're a woman of, of a lot of things. I can look. I can see. I quite like these stories. Especially this one. Which one are you reading? It's called The Princess of... Avaranda. Really, it's silly. I doubt you'd be interested in it. Try me. I smiled at her. She smiled back at me in kind. Okay, I don't see why not. Oh, okay, don't sit like that, girl. See you. Ooh, okay. There's a young girl near her who was a princess of the kingdom of Avaranda, which was far, far away from civilization. Unlike other pr princesses before her, she had no time Polit politicking, okay, for or parties. She spent her hard time building all sorts of gadgets for her family and her friends. Like a robot dog that would eat the vegetables they didn't want to eat. Oh, I gotta try my hand at this sometime. Scarlet giggled like a child. Mira is blissful, has a blissfully happy childhood. She even falls in love with a commoner named Alora. Wait, so she's bi? Though her kingdom would never approve of their relationship, Nira and Alora would never fail to see each other in secret. Every night, by the crooked trees in the western forest. But those days don't last. One day her mother, the queen, is taken by a witch, never to be seen again. And Nira is forced to become queen at the age of 16. Oh shoot. In her mother's absence, Nira does her best to lead the kingdom. And for years, it prospers. She's like no other leader they've had before. But secretly, she wants to leave. As queen, she has no more time for the things or people that she loved with all her heart. She cries every night, alone. Oh no, this is sad. But she knows she can't. Too much responsibility falls on her. Then one day, Nira is cursed by the same wish that took her mother and forgets everything. Her name, her family, her kingdom, except everything, except for Alora, with the end of desire to leave. And so she leaves, and no one in the village ever sees her again. That's a sad book. I won't bore you with the rest of the story, but thanks for listening until now. Oh, come on, believe me, Scarlet. I want to hear this to the end. Especially since you like it so much. I looked deep in her eyes, and I could tell just how much she loved this story. Well, there's not really much left, but... Well, Nera and Alora live a wonderful life in a neighboring kingdom for many years. But one day, she remembers everything and rushes home, worrying for her people. When she gets there, she sees her people have been ruled by the very same witch who took her memory, and that her people no longer prosper the way they did under her rule. In anger, Nera confronts the witch on the border of Avaranda. The witch takes off her cow, revealing to be Nera's mother, the Lost Queen. Oh shit, of course, I should have expected some type of twist like that. 
Nero's mother gives her an ultimatum. She can return to ruling the kingdom, but she can never leave again. Or she can leave now and never come back. And that's where the story ends. You never get to know what choice Nero makes. I hate stories like that. I hate cliffhangers because it's like, I want to know. I want to know what happens next. Believe me, me too. I'm curious, what would you do in Nero's shoes? Oh, shoot. Uh, I think I'd like to leave. I think I'd leave and never come back. Interesting. Why is that? There's no point in living without love, even if it was better for the kingdom for Nero to stay. It would guarantee her love could never be realized. And that's just too sad. I think the same way. You probably would have said that no matter what I picked. I love this story. Ever since I lost my memories. I'm sure I don't have a kingdom or anything. But sometimes you wonder, you know. I get that same feeling too. That's just life, you know. You just have to keep moving forward. Yeah, you're right. I I'm really happy that you're the one I get to move forward with, Sean. Me too, Scarlet. There's no one else I'd rather be with, right here, right now. Now, we didn't choose her, so I don't know why we're saying it like this. And speaking of right now, there's somewhere I want to bring you. Where's... <coughs> Thank you. Ooh. Where's that? I'll give you a hint. I've been thinking about this place ever since you mentioned that you love fairy tales. Oh. <laughs> a freaking restaurant. Oh my gosh, there's turtles down here. Turtles! She was practically dancing around the room, taking in all the sights. It was impossible not to smile. I figured the Ocean Palace just might be your thing. Scarlet practically jumped onto me and squeezed the life out of me in a deathly bear hug. Now, for her uh, hugging me, I mean, she got the big titties, which is kind of good, but deathly? Okay, that's gonna hurt. This is wonderful, Sean. Thank you so much. You've made everything so special in ways I couldn't honestly believe. But you did it. And this is just the beginning, Scarlet. We're in this together. But what I knew, but this this makes me wonder. Because that little green whatever shit, we knew her. And she said you and your partner, she was helping me and some other girl, which was the, I guess one of the other girls. So, if that was a dream, I, I still don't understand if that's a dream or not. Like, I'm, I'm still fuzzy about that. I held Scarlet and kissed her on the lips. It was like an explosion of passion had me set on fire as she kissed me back and wrapped her arms around me. Always. We looked deep into each other's eyes, then... Oh, shoot. Oh, no. Not this shit again. No. Not this, not this music, man. No. No. In a split second, the room became pitch black. I couldn't even see my hand in front of my face, much less Scarlet. Sean? It looks like there's a blackout. Scarlet held my hand tight. Maybe she was afraid of the dark. I didn't have a chance to respond before I heard a rush of footsteps coming towards us in the dark. Something isn't right. Oh no. We were surrounded. A familiar voice cut through the short silence of me holding my breath. I I'm sorry, Sean. You just didn't make the cut. Is that Cat? Who else would say that? We've got to get out of here. Just make it quick, please. I could hear the woman that voice belonged to walk away. I dashed from the table, pulling Scarlet along with me. W what's going on? H who are... Just come with me. We've got to get out of... I didn't even make it five steps before I was tackled down and cuffed behind my back. How the fuck can they see in the dark? Maybe they got some night vision shit, maybe. Sean! I screamed for her to run, but they made sure no sound could escape as they pinned me to the ground. Scarlet, you've got to run! Get out of here! It was no use. Even though she was just a few feet away, I was powerless to get an inch closer. They tackled her down in a second. I could hear the clink of cuffs as they dragged her away. I struggled with everything I had to get up, to save her, to run, for what felt like an eternity. Then, nothing. Oh boy, you about to be taken back to that room? 
Yep, I remember this. He doesn't, but we do. I woke up on the operating table, the kind you see in a nightmare. I remember he said this before. My first instinct was to get up and get off of it as soon as possible. But my neck, hands, yeah, I remember this. No, I ain't got a morning, Sean. And she's so nonchalant like before. It's like, what the hell is your problem? What's going on, cat? Get me out of here. I'm afraid I can't do that. And honestly, I'm getting tired of explaining why. Well, I don't remember. I mean, I do, but not the player. Let's just speed this along, shall we? What are you talking about? She placed some kind of helmet on my head. I tried to avoid it, but the brace around my neck made it impossible to maneuver. Please, cat, don't do this. I can hear the hum of a massive generator turning on behind me. She raised her hand, revealing a trigger switch with a single red button. See you soon, Sean. She pressed it. And here we go again. The curtain closes. You're taking your bow. And when you lift your head, I can see you clearly. Oh, we're back to the dream type shit thing again. Clearly, for the first time, it's you. The one I've been waiting all this time to see. Who? The one who made me dream of a life together, far from this island. You've been right by me all this time. Tomorrow's the... Huh? Cat? Tomorrow's the day, Sean. You nervous? Who wouldn't be? You've got a point. Wait, I'm so confused on what the cat? Is that the one with the that was the freaking question marks that we've been talking to that whole time? She reached my hand and held it tightly. You okay? You sure we should be doing this? I don't want you to get punished just because I want to get out of here. It was cat! This the, oh, I'm I, I think I, my eyes are watering, bro. I can't. It's been cat this whole time. Cause she wants to get This is the person we've been talking to, we just didn't realize. Hey cat, we've always been a team. You and me. No matter what, we're in this together. This is definitely oh my I'm I'm about to I'm about to start crying, bro. I'm about to start crying. Thanks, Sean. How did things come to this? The escape failed. I've been surrounded, beaten. Shot, betrayed, the love of my life, she shot me. Okay, I'm remembering, now he just, he just made me remember. So basically, the whole dream type shit wasn't a dream, I, I don't think. It was cat, me and cat. I guess they were lovers, well he said love of my life, yeah they were lovers, and they were about to get out of there. I guess they've been doing this show shit for a while, and they were lovers, and they were trying to get away, and that's when she sh she shot him. Cause I remember, I think I remember that part. I'm bleeding out rapidly. I tried my best to show the bleeding, slow the bleeding, but it's no use. What? What did you do to her? Wait, no. Now I'm confused, cause it said the love of my life. She shot me. Then he said, "What do you do to her?" Then who? Sh what? I took to every last word. I didn't do anything. You were too busy making heart eyes to cat at cat here to see where her true loyalties lied. I'm sorry, Sean, but it's true. I I don't understand. I really don't. I thought I had everything worked out, but I don't think I do. Why don't you tell him, dear? Why the hell are you calling him? I'm calling her dear. Damien is my father. <gasps> Bro, what? <laughs> no. No. Which actually makes sense because the picture of them two on the freaking... But that could have just meant they were on the same show, but... Her father? Oh my gosh. We gotta finish this whole thing, yo. I don't care if this is two hours. We This is too good to... to oh my gosh, I can't. I knew you were planning something the moment you came to this island. But you didn't trust me enough to tell me exactly what it was. Now I'm confused. So, so she wasn't the love of the life. I don't get it. So she played us like she loved us, but she d didn't because she was with him the whole time. So I became close to you and you told me just what you wanted to hear. Oh, uh, wait. So I became close to you and told you just what you wanted to hear. Oh, she, 
she did us fucking dirty. And then you told me everything I needed to know. Oh, shit, cat. How could you do this? As soon as you told me your plan, there was no way you were ever going to escape from this island. Why are you saying this? Now that's my girl. You really are my daughter. Why? I love that look on your face, Sean. You know, you've got an impression that would be perfect for my next show. And it just so happens, you've got an opening just for you. It's no use. I've lost too much blood. Oh no, we're about to go through the whole thing again. The whole world turned dark. This is the end. Keep him alive. Sean. You might think I'm showing you mercy, but believe me, by the end of this, you're going to wish that I just let Cat kill you. Oh boy, dot dot dot. Why? Why, Cat? Why would you? I barely have time to breathe before the waves pull me under once more. And now we're here. This shit's confused me. I thought I knew I thought I knew everything, but now I don't know shit other than Cat played the fuck out of me. Cause I thought she would I thought the way they made it seem like she was the love that was the question mark that we didn't know who it was. But then it's like Oh, he was talking to Damien saying, What did you do to her? So basically it was her the whole time in the question marks, like I said. And then she basically played me. We thought she was the love of our life, but she played me. Where am I? I'm underwater? No. It's so dark and cold. I try to move, but I'm so tired. It takes all my strength to reach my hand out forward. It feels like glass. I'm trapped in some kind of tank. I I want to sleep for just a... No, we can't sleep. Uh, Oh no. Dot dot dot. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. It is someone there? I can feel somebody's presence. I open my eyes and I can see. Ali! She about to help us out. She about to help us. I remember she said she knew all about this shit. She knew something was going on. Hang on, just a little longer, Sean. Who are you? Even though he doesn't remember who she is, the woman in front of me looked at me with pity. Say something. I I want to hit the glass. I try to speak, but it's no use. My mouth won't speak the words I want them to. You're awake. I'm so glad, but you're going to wish you were asleep for this next bit. Trust me. And sorry in advance. What is she doing? What is she doing? She moved towards some kind of terminal next to my tank and press the button. Oh shoot, she's gonna press the button that Cat was pressing. As if on cue, it was as every nerve in my body was set on fire. I screamed and thrashed around, but it did nothing to alleviate the pain. Oh boy. Oh, will you look at that? Looks like our little hero's got some life left in him. Why is it like that? You know, Sean, you're in luck. Usually, I'd just kill you for this, but a new opportunity just opened up, and I think You'd be a perfect fit. He said this plenty of times. I'm sorry, Sean, but it's true. I I don't is she wait, is this our memories? I don't understand. Why don't you tell him, dear? Damien is my father. Yeah, I, I remember that part. Oh shoot. Always the hero, aren't you, Sean? You should be more worried about yourself. I think she said that before. You knew the rules. If you try to escape the island, you die. You fucking, you, psych, you psycho bitch. It didn't have to be like this, but you, I'm done talking. Goodbye, Sean. Hang on, hold on just a little longer, Sean. I think she's giving us back our memories. She looked away from me as if she heard something. What? I couldn't tell, though. Shit, they're almost here. We're running out of time. I'm sorry, Sean. I won't be able to give you back all your memories, but this will have to be enough. Okay, so I was right about the memory thing. She pressed another button on the terminal. I've got to run back to my tank. Oh, they'll know something's up. How the fuck did she get... Wait, she's in the tank too? Oh, I get it. So I'm pretty sure everybody's in one tank. 
because they gotta erase all our memories. That's right. She pressed her hand against the glass. Hold on just a little longer, okay? But how the fuck did she get out of her tank? That's what I don't understand. I'll get us out of here. Oh my gosh. The pain. It stopped. I... The world turned dark. Dot, dot, dot. Uh-oh. Oh boy. Oh no. I've been here before. I, I'm i Sean. Oh, this is, this is different because I remember everything. I'm on some kind of show. Find love or die trying. I forgot dating, but, but whatever. Allie, she, she helped me. I've got to find her. I, you're up early. Most people around here usually need a little more time to wake them up. Yeah, but we know all your games now, bitch. We're not telling you shit. Cat. I remember now. I tried to escape this island with her. She pretended to be my lover. She betrayed me. And shot me too. She's the reason why I'm trapped here. It's only fragments I can remember, but I remember enough to know that she's bad news. We've done this song and dance over and over. More times than I can count by now. Yeah, definitely. I've been in love with and chosen Allie, Scarlet, Tara, Violet, Yui, each of them countless times. Am I a bad person? No, we were on the, on the show. Come to think of it, I can't remember what happened before the show started either. I need to find Allie, but first for the problem at hand. If I want to get out of here, I can't let Kat know that I remember what's happened before. Oh. Now we gotta act like we don't know shit. I like this. Where am I? I've gotta play dumb. I know this sounds weird, but do you know where we are? Dot dot dot. Will she buy it? Walk with me. There's a lot to get you up to speed on. The name's Cat. I'm the producer for a new show, Fine Lover, Die Trying. And what's your name? I... I don't remember. Looks like it's the same beginning as usual. Learn about the killer dating show rules, meet the girls before the show starts. Yui, I don't remember meeting you before the show, but I'm glad I got to meet you again. So we ain't gotta meet all of them again, like we know we remember everything. It's impossible not to feel happier when I see your smile. You'd think that the staff would, be, would have learned to cook better by now. There's so much more to you than the world. Oh. There's so much more to you than you showed the world, Violet. Scarlet, you're still hiding that you're reading that magazine with another book. It brings a smile to my face every time. I think I know what happened to you now. Yeah, like what happened to all of us. You still have no idea what you got into, Tara. Killer dating show or not. I love the way I love to see the way you see the world. And finally, the one who've been looking for. Allie, you never gave up on getting us out of here, even after all this time. Howdy, Sean. I hear you're the suitor. Care to join me for a job? Yeah, cut all that crap. Come on. Cut all that crap. It'd be my pleasure. We went for a job. A shady banner like we always done when we met each other. Cut all the crap, Allie. The second we got to the unrecorded area of the forest, her smile faded. I'm glad you got the hint, Sean. Yeah, cut all the shit. We know. You haven't given yourself away to anyone yet, right? No, I haven't. As far as Cat knows, I don't remember anything as usual. Sweet! I knew I was right to help you first. Really? Thank you so much! I can't thank you enough. I've got to ask, how did you escape the tank in the first place? That's what I've been thinking this whole time. Honestly? I just got lucky. I, I don't, I don't, I don't think, I don't buy that. I don't buy that. Usually, the tank knocks me out right away. But that last time, I think something must have bugged out. Oh, maybe you did get lucky. I saw my chance and took it. Anything's better than being stuck here forever. I I'm sorry I couldn't get all your memories back. Don't worry about it, Allie. All I could ask is for a fighting chance, and you gave that to me. Don't, don't mention it. I mean, duh, I'm hands down the MVP. <laughs> anyway, it's about time I tell you the truth, Sean. I'm from the resistance. What is that? Is that is that kind of like the FBI? You could think of us as a convert group of concerned citizens who have a few bones to pick with the world's current ma management. And those bones are their necks. 
Joking aside, we are fighting a war here. The war will be won with the information. Information that lives on this island, and only here. There was no way that we could ever find this place. Not by conventional means. But then we find out about the show. And so they sent you here. Actually, I kind of volunteered. Believe me, the others didn't want me to, but I knew I had to. Somebody had to do it. I was the one with least to lose. What do you mean? Ali. It was pretty easy getting in, all things considered. All I had to do was write a report that labeled me as suspicious of conspiring against the government, take a few cute selfies, and boom, I was flown here. Didn't go too great since then, though. But then, but that was when I was a lone wolf. I've got you now, and we'll get out of here together. Sound good to you? Sounds like a plan. Uh, Allie is just, like, yeah, she's, she's, I knew there was something off about her when she started, like, but I thought she was just, like, I, I can't even say nothing. Like, I'm, I, I can't. I haven't even told you the plan yet. But since you're so excited, let's get right to it. There's two things we need to do. One. We need to bring the other girls' memories back. We won't be able to get their trust or work with them until we do. And we'll need help their help for our part two. And what's that? Two, we need to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Yo, she's <laughs> well, she's serious. Get the fuck out of here. Sounds about right. Easier said than done though. It's going to take a hell of hell of a lot of setup and coordination. There's a small army of armed and trained staff tasked with keeping us here. Not to mention us needing a way off the island. I'll figure it out as we go. But for now, how about you go on a date with Scarlet today? I can do that, but how does this relate to us getting out of here? I tell you, if I thought you could be a better actor. Believe me, you'll know why later. Anyway, let's head back to the mansion. We don't want Cat to start looking for us. Sounds good to me. You're really something, you know? That's putting it lightly. Oh, shoot. Y'all, we can't stop now. We're gonna finish this whole thing if I have to. Sean, there you are. Sorry, I got carried away exploring the island. I got to be careful around Cat. I know exactly what she's capable of firsthand. Is that so? Well, it's no harm, but you'll have a whole week to explore, you know? You'll get one date with each of the girls for the first five days. A little, a little something special for day six. Yeah, I know. And then the file cere ceremony. We get to propose to one of the girls. That sounds like perfect time to figure out if, if we're meant together. You'd be surprised. Anyway, let's get this show on the road. Who do you want to spend today's day with? Scarlet. There's just something about her, you know. Okay. Our plan is our plan is coming through. Dot dot dot. I found Scarlet inside the library. The place I most often meet her for the first time. She always looked so happy when she was reading. It did the heart good to try and make her smile. The same way when I tried to talk when I talked with her. We became fast friends again. The similarity of her, similarity of her situations might have played a part in that. Still, I'm not sure why Allie insisted on me going on a date with Scarlet today. Sure, getting her memories back would be a huge win, but... Hey, Scarlet, show on. Uh oh. I'm glad you're safe. Things are going crazy out here. What's happening? I know it sounds crazy, but there's a horde of zombies outside. Did Scarlet do this or did freaking Allie bring this up? The Brothers Five. And a lot of our behind the scenes help went crazy and. Scarlet, you did this, didn't you? Wait, what? I've been the whole here the whole time with Sean. I couldn't have. I've never heard anything like this. Wait. Now, nah, yeah, I'm kind of confused because if it wasn't her, who was it? Well, like I said, it could, it could be Allie. It's true. No! Actually. Actually. Whatever, it doesn't even matter. Either way, I bet you can create a curve for it, no? I mean, I probably could, but I need my equipment. I'm not sure why, but I can't find it anywhere. Follow me. You can use our lab. What? Huh? We follow Cat to the game room. Cat put her hand against the wall of the game room, revealing a hidden trap door. She walked in and beckoned for us to follow. 
We walked down spiraling stairs for who know how long. I lost track more than a few times. She's taking us down here. I remember this place. You should have everything you need in this room to make a cure. Just don't go snooping around. This lab become, belongs to R&D, and we could all get in trouble if you do. Actually, this place doesn't have everything I need. Damn. What else do you need? To build a cure, I'm going to need a sample of whatever this is. It's something. She said something after that. Dot, dot, dot. I'm sure you could help with that, Sean. How? I got uh, some editing that needs my attention. You've got this. What the hell did she say? I, I, I gotta make sure. I've been doing this for like hours or so, so, you know, that's why I'm probably skipping too fast. And just like that, she was gone. If it makes you feel better, I'll help you catch somebody. You sure? If you're the only one that can make the cure, it might be better for you to stay back. No thanks. There's no way I'm letting you out there alone. I don't want you to think I'm weird, but I've got this feeling that I'd be pretty good at collecting unwilling zombie specimens. Yeah, I, 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 she probably has her memories back but playing like this too. But in this case, she's absolutely correct. Some memories must be intact, even if they're kept below the surface. Well, let's get on with this. She has to have some of her memories. We went back up to the surface. Everywhere we looked were overrun with zombies. We were not stand a chance against the group, so we spent the day trying to split them up, as well as searching for lone wolves. Brains. Bananas. We're in luck. We finally got an isolated sample. How are we supposed to bring him in, though? One bite and we're finished. Yeah, I've got just the thing. Scarlet pulled out a pair of brass knuckles. What are you, really and Regal? <laughs> Where did you even get that? Is that really important right now? Yes and no. You mind looking the other way for a second? It's embarrassing. For you to hit him? Sure, Scarlet. I turned around. Brains, bananas. I hope your health insurance covers this. Thwack. Once more, with feeling. Damn. Oh, sits. Why do I keep doing it? It keeps. Oh. We dragged him back to the mansion, paying careful attention not to run into any more zombies running amok. Scarlet opened the, hit, opened the hidden trap door in the game room, and I pulled Ford's unconscious body in. Oh, pfft. My hand slipped, causing Ford's body to tumble down the stairs. He gonna wake the fuck up. Yeah, this is just... We are not... We can't be trusted with anything. He just kept going and going. Hmm. I know, I know, I get him. Better get him quick, but we're not gonna have a live specimen. Luckily, I managed to catch him pretty quickly. We put him on the operating table for Scarlet to analyze. Interesting. What's up, Scarlet? This virus, it's pretty clear it's man-made. Even more interesting is that it looks like something I would make. She's definitely gotta be knowing what this shit is. She, she knows. She probably was talking with Allie earlier. Er, not that I ever made zombie viruses, Sean. <laughs> Yes, you have. It's kind of cute how you try to hide it. We know we're not stupid around here. Dot, dot, dot. Cat, you there? Dot, dot, dot. Weird. I thought Scat was supposed to be able to hear us from anywhere on the island. Maybe there's no microphones all the way down here? I guess so. I was going to tell her we got the cure now. Sweet. Great work, Scarlet. You bet I did. We administered the cure to four, then went back upstairs together. Cat, you there? What's up, Scarlet? I've been waiting hours for you guys. You two done yet? We've got the cure now. Oh my gosh, I keep... Stop it! We'll be right on it. Lay low for now. We're coming to get you. In the meantime, Sean, how about you tell me about yourself? Now's the time to talk about myself? It'd be my pleasure. With Cat's help, we managed to quell the zombie plague with just enough time left in the day for a lovely dinner with Scarlet. After that, I went for a night walk with Allie somewhere safe from prying eyes. You should buy a girl dinner first before you murder her in the woods, you know. I think I found a way to bring the other's memories back. You found her lab, you found her lab, didn't you? Pretty much. Sweet. I wasn't sure how to get back there after they shipped us out of there, so that's a huge win. So where is it? There's a secret trap door in the game room. You just have to press a hidden panel on the wall. That said, how are we supposed to get in without being seen? There's cameras everywhere. And Scarlet and I are only allowed to enter because of the whole we're only allowed to enter because of the whole pandemic. 
Don't you worry about that. I've got an inside man. Who? Ford's gonna be helping us override a few cameras and microphones in the mansion with old recordings. Is Ford with them? Is Ford with her? Four? That way, we can get in and stay inside long enough to get their memories back without raising any sort of fuss. That brother we KO'd today down the stairs? What's that look for? I'm surprised he's still standing after today, to be honest. I wouldn't work with people who go down that easy. Was Four always working with you? Nope, never until now. But we can't afford to refuse his help. I had him prove he's trustworthy. Don't worry, you can count on him. If she's saying he's trustworthy, then we gotta accept it. If you say so. Anyway, we have everything you need for the first part of the plan. You up for a trip down memory lane together? I don't think I have a choice anyway. Dot, dot, dot. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You guys have to see this. Trust me. Allie put her hand on the secret panel. A second later, the wall parted to reveal the winding staircase for become intimately and repeatedly familiar with. Did Allie prove for trust before or after his little trip on the stairs? Whoa, you guys found my secret spot already? I'm sorry, what? I found this place this morning. Maybe Tara's smarter than we thought. I sat near the top of the stairs and played for a while. It was more fun to play in the dark. Hold me back, Sean. She's like, you couldn't have told us about this? Dot, dot, dot. I'll explain the situation as we walk down the stairs. Oh, shit's getting juicy. Shit's getting juicy. Sure enough, they were skeptical. Except for Scarlet. Scarlet knew. Scarlet knew, probably. Okay, your story makes a little more sense when you come down here. We walk towards the machines, in a mixture of awe and fear. The markings on this machine. My father's company made these. Why? They didn't. Not my baby. Huh? I'm sorry, everyone. I wish I had what I had to say wasn't true, but it is. I don't know why we're being kept here, why they feel them show over and over. But I know if that we don't escape the fast, they're gonna kill us sooner or later. Sean and I are gonna do our very best to make sure all of us get out of here alive. But to do that, I need you to trust me. Trust you with what? I need you to trust me enough to step back into the tanks they kept you in. For us to escape, we need all of us to have our memories back. Otherwise, you won't trust us enough. I'd have to be quite foolish just to just step into this tank because someone said so. Violet, you can trust her. Excuse me? I know she's telling me. I know she's telling the truth about this machine because I built this. She said it looks like something she would make, but she built this? So was she working with them too, just like Kat is? Allie. Huh? This isn't the first time we've met, is it? No, it isn't. I knew Scarlet knew something about this shit. We've gotten to know each other quite a few times by now. It's a strange feeling. On one hand, this is horrible. On the other, I'm glad the machine works. Maybe one day, we'll put it to use the way it should be. Alright, I'll trust you. You just walk back into the machine? Thank you, Violet. I know it'd be difficult to trust me, so I appreciate it. There's a machine that should have your name on it go into it, and then Sean and I will start the reversal process. I do hope this works. It should, it, but it might hurt a bit. Do spare me from the details, please. I don't need any more reason not to go into this shit. Scarlet and Violet walk into a respectable machines. A respective. I don't really get it, but I trust you, Sean. And besides, I got a thing for big things made out of metal. They're like Mecha, but we know. I guess that works. Is this going to hurt? Didn't you just hear Scarlet say it might hurt a bit? We gotta tell her the truth. It is. I'm sorry, you're you. Don't be Sean. I'm just happy you wouldn't lie to me. It makes me even more sure to trust you. Yeah, see, this is I knew what we was doing here. We gotta make them trust us, so we gotta tell them the truth, whether it hurts or not. Like, we need to tell them what really is, is happening. Here we go, Yui. Let's do this. Alright, they're in their tanks. Let's do this, Sean. On it. Stop using my catchphrase. That's my catchphrase. Let's do this. 
Even if it was necessary for all of us, their screams from the reversal process were almost more than I could take. Alan and I covered our ears as Violet, Scarlet, Yui, and Terra remembered years of memories in a matter of minutes. After doing all this, we better be getting out of here. Dot, dot, dot. Okay, is everybody... Violet, Scarlet, Yui, and Terra stepped out of their tanks after what had must have been felt like hours to them. Guys? You okay? This probably isn't the time to mention it, but I made a bet with four about what would happen when they got their memories back. What What did you bet? I'm going to watch from a safer distance if you don't mind. <laughs> what happened? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. If looks could kill, the girls that had just gotten in the tanks would have killed me several times over. They ran to me yelling and screaming. You five- Oh my gosh, that's why they're mad. You five-timing little cheater. That's part of the damn show! What the hell? Wait, I, I can explain. I- Too late. They were on me like hyenas. Ah! Oh, shoot. Listen, it's part of the show. What you mean, five-time a cheater? You knew it was part of the show. Now that we all calmed down, how about we go over to the escape plan? It better be good, Allie. For your sake, Sean. Oh, they all hate me now. Because I was saying such shit to everybody, so I mean, I guess I can see why they're kind of mad. Out with it then. Alright, listen up. For the next hour, Allie explained her plan from start to finish. Trust me, it's the best we've got. If this is our plan, we're doomed. <laughs> oh, wow. You don't trust her? What was the plan, though? We don't even know ourselves. Congrats, Sean. You made it to day two. You really gave our audience a run for the money yesterday with Scarlet. And that's where we, before we got the zombies involved, believe it or not. I'm glad to hear that. I'm lying. You think you'll choose Scarlet at the end of this? I don't know. I figure it's best to make things, things, uh, things seem uncertain as possible and not get too focused on any one girl. Kat said that getting low ratings during the show could end up with them shutting it down early. If that happened this time, then it's game over. The only reason we're able to make it out, make these moves right now is because Allie's machine glitched out. Who knows, what, who knows if that would ever happen again. There's no room for error. Too early to say right now, but she's definitely up there, Kat. I like the sound of that. But you know what I like more? Drama. And what better way to start the fire than with a full day date with another woman? If it ain't broke. So who's it gonna be? Dot, dot, dot. Do we get to choose or... We're not choosing nothing. Wait, did it just say, do you know... Oh my gosh. They said something that's locked up. Nope, not even a bit. Really? It's right by the games room. And it's not the hidden one. I'm starting to understand why you've been stuck here all this time. I was sleeping around at night looking for snacks when I saw Cat open them, using a black key that she kept on the key ring in her pocket. It's definitely a master key. I've seen her use the same key both in the mansion as well as, well as other buildings. Sounds like it'd be pretty good to get our hands on that. Exactly! If you get me that key for even a minute, I can make a mold of it that we can use as a duplicate key. I'm betting that would be pretty helpful for helping us get out of here, to put it lightly. That's awesome! But wouldn't Cat notice her mask key going missing? You're absolutely right! Especially if you or I try to take it. I'm feeling a butt coming. But I won't, it won't be taken, it won't be you or I taking it. Then who's taking it? Tomorrow, ask to take Yui on a date. Let me go get Yui. By the end of the night, you'll both understand why it has to be you two. I'd say it sounds like a plan, but I have no idea what's going on now. Okay. Trust me, Sean. You have never ever been wrong. I can list every single date we've been on as evidence. That doesn't count. She was just, like, doing it for a reason. This... Yui. Oh, that... Okay. Okay, I, I get what we're doing here. We'll make it happen. Alright. It was the first day since getting all the girls' memories back. So they don't hate us no more. We went out for a walk in the woods, the same date we had when we truly had met again for the first time. It was a little awkward at first, figuring out how to not give away what we knew on camera, but we figured it out pretty quick. It's nice to see you again, Sean. I feel the same way, Yui. After all this time, it's got to be fate, hasn't it? 
it must be. To be honest, I feel like things are going a little over my head. This show, meeting you again, everything, it's, it's just moving so fast. Sometimes I feel like everything's moving too fast for me to keep up. But with you, everything feels alright. Like I know it's going to be okay. Would it be okay if we spent today this way? She leaned in closer and put her arms around me. I wouldn't have it any other way, you. Wait a minute. What about getting that master key, though? Ah, I can tell from your face what you're thinking about. Don't worry. I've got that covered. Bun Bun Bun! Oh, it's gonna be him? Bun 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 darted out of a nearby bush, nearby, nearby bush and ran to Yui's side. Who's a good boy? You're a good boy! She picked him up and hugged him tight. It was impossible not to smile. Almost forgot! Bun Bun Bun! Hunt! Bun 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 leapt out of her arms, then dashed towards the mansion. Oh, she trained him! And with that out of her way, how about we walk for a little longer? What just happened? She reached for my hand, then held it tight. I like that. We walked and talked for hours. When we took breaks, we laid next to each other on the grass, talking about anything and everything. You is a lovely girl. At times, I remember how dire the situation we were in, and I couldn't help but freeze up. But with Yui, I'm never afraid to face those fears. She makes me braver with just a smile. Even when we couldn't, she couldn't ask directly about what was on my mind, she found ways to comfort me despite that. And in turn, to make her smile make me feel lighter than air. My life without her would be wonderful. I've got to make sure to get us all out of here safe. Sean? Yeah? I love you, Sean. I hope we can spend another day together, just like this, soon. I like that. Me too, Yuri. Yuri. I keep saying Yuri. We walked back to the mansion together, hand in hand, then went our separate ways. Shoman, you would not believe what happened to me today. What happened, Cat? I got attacked by some kind of force monster. It was at least 10 feet tall, had monstrous teeth, and there was at least five of them. I took everything, it took everything I had not to laugh, because we know what we know what that was. Luckily, I managed to fight them off without any permanent injury. I made sure that Ford deleted the footage. That shit was both embarrassing and traumatic. That's good to know. This is the worst run yet, man. What do you mean by that? Oh, nothing. I just had a long day. Lying ass. I'll bet. You should get some rest while you have the chance. Five force beats is nothing to sniff at. You're making fun of me, aren't you? Not at all. I definitely am, though. Forest beasts affect one in ten people. It could happen to you. Right, right. I'll see you later, Sean. Good night. Okay, so now we're all back down here. Oh no, it's just us two. Well, us three. Mission success. I can't believe that worked. How did you train your pet bunny to do all that? It's all thanks to our special training last night. I may have made a few conscious from a few devils from the forest. What? Okay, no, I don't like the sound of that at all. What? I'm half kidding. You're half. Don't worry about it. Which half? <laughs> exactly. Are the keys ready for use? Not yet, which sucks. It's going to take a little longer to, for the makeshift plaster to set. Where'd you get the plaster from anyway? Believe me, knowing a lot more about, knowing more about how we got it will not make you any happier as a person. I'm cool with not knowing then. Anyways, the keys will probably be usable by tomorrow morning, but you have to have your next date by then. Oh boy. We'll test them out as soon as it's night tomorrow. Sound good? Sounds good to me. Awesome, let's go team. How about you let the rest of the girls know, Sean? Forrest disabled the audio recordings in the house at night, so we should be good to talk up back up there. I'll let them know. I feel like this is gonna go wrong somehow. I walk back up the staircase, back to the mansion. Where are they? Ah, I can hear some sounds from the kitchen. There they are. I'll make my way over. It's just Violet. Dot, dot, dot. Hey, Violet, how are you? Hmm? Goodness! Apologies, Sean. I didn't see you there. You seem pretty deep in thought. What's on your mind? Besides to say a hundred of different versions of memories in the same week? I'm worried for the people back home. Yui has her sisters to worry about. Though she tries not to burden anyone with that feeling. 
everyone has family out here. And who knows what happened to them in the last however long we've been trapped here. I've never gotten along with my parents that well. But even so, they must be worried sick. Dun, dun, dun. I'm sure they're doing fine, Violet. And they're going to be happy to see you again. You're right, Sean. There's no way you can know that for sure, could you? I guess so, but we've got to believe. I suppose you're right once again, Sean. When we finally escape this dreadful place, I'm going to hold them so tight. It's kind of funny. What is, Violet? I told you I had a twin sister, right? Indeed you did. Her name was Viola? That would be her. She was always my parents' favorite. You did tell me that, too. You know the type. She came first in about just about everything, while I did not. Even so, we got along just fine. I was proud to call her my sister. Then there was the accident. She... She saw the car before I did. She moved to protect me before I could. And in the end, she was hit before I was. And she died for it. Oh no, she didn't tell us this. Oh, she didn't tell us this. I'm sorry, Violet. I was... Before then, I had no problem being second place to her. But for her sake, for just that one time, I wish I had come in first. I'm oversharing that, aren't I? I apologize. It's been a... It's okay, Violet. Just say what you're feeling. You're kind, Sean. That's something I adore about you, you know? After Viola died, I did my very best to live up to the standards she set for my parents. You can probably guess how well that went. It wasn't, I wasn't as good as running a business, or appearing prim and proper, or even things like finding a partner. It's a little embarrassing. Really, that's actually the reason I came up here. My parents saw an ad for the show and thought it might help me. Or perhaps they just wanted to kick me out of the house to make more room for my new baby brother. I couldn't resist the chance for them to support me for once. At times, I feel like I can't do anything right. Look at how this show has developed. This is a nightmare in every regard. Violet? Yes? I held her in my arms tightly. You're an incredible woman, and believe me, there's nothing you can't do. I've seen you put fear of God into the Brothers Five and make delicious meals that some people would practically kill for. Even this is, if this is a nightmare, it's one we're going to get out of together, and we won't be able to do it without you. Da, da, da. You are too kind. But thank you for the... I appreciate it. But enough about me. Have you remember anything about why you came here? Unfortunately, I haven't. But I'm hoping that the master key we... Clyford will help with that. I hope so, for your sake, because it seems like everybody else remembered their life before this except me, which sucks. It sucks. In the event where it does not provide any answers, my previous offer about helping you find about finding you help outside of here to get your memories back stands. Thanks, Violet. I really appreciate that. It's the least I could do. I still fancy you quite a bit, you know? Oh yeah, she was my favorite too. I know it's not the time or place, but maybe when we get out of here, perhaps you'll join me for, say, a lovely cruise around what's left of the world? I'm looking forward to that day. As am I. We'll talk for a few minutes longer before retiring for the night. Oh boy. For once, I lay in bed not worrying about being killed. For once, I was excited for what tomorrow would bring. It's only up from here. I... Sean! Uh-oh. Alan, what are you... Never mind that. You gotta come down to the lab. What is it? We found something, and I know you'll want to see it. She reached for my hand and pulled me as we ran. Uh-oh. Dot, dot, dot. Everybody else is here, right? Of course. The other girls were already there, crowded around the table with a pile of folders on top of it. What's going on? I was just looking around the lab when I stumbled across these. There are files. I didn't read anyone's but my own, but I have to warn you. Caution was the last thing on all of our minds. Most of us scrambled to find our own file, except for Yui, who is already holding hers, and Allie. Weird, there's no file for me here. I double checked, but there was nothing for me. Guess I'm not getting any answers today. Allie slowly walked to the pile to find her, find her own, then opened it in one fluid motion. Interesting. What is it? 
Ali Major, sent to the island for being suspected for committing treason against the government. Selected for this experimental show for fitting sporting girl, sporty girl archetype. You need one of those. Ha! It's good to know this whole getup was a good idea. Did you actually know I actually freaking hate sports? <laughs> I've never seen Ali look so angry. Let's just say they got all the fake information I gave. That sounds about right. Wait, what is it? They've been taking extremely detailed notes on me for every single run of the show for the past two years? We've been there for like two years? Is that what you're freaking telling me? What I've done, things I've said in private or with others, they got notes down to how and when I brush my teeth. How I react differently when they change the show or tell me th different things or we're nothing but lab rats to them. It's true. And it's all my fault. What do you mean? If I hadn't invented this machine in the first place, none of this would have ever happened. You couldn't have known. Like, you didn't know they were going to use this. You really wanted to help people. And that was a great thing. It's not your fault someone else ended up using your adventure like this. If you say so, Sean. My file says that they wiped my memories and put me on a show to make sure that no one else could build this technology. I can't even begin to understand how that could even be a reason for causing all this. I'm not sure we even want to understand the people who run this shit. The room fell silent. I wanted to crack a joke to ease the tension, but that was impossible. And unnecessary, that's not gonna work. Thank goodness. Wait, what? I I'm surprised to hear you say that, Yui. All things considered. Sorry, I was just... I know how that must have sounded. Sorry, guys. Mine is the same the same as Ali's. They've tracked, measured, and commented on so many things about us. So many times. It feels so violating. But it's not all bad. Did I ever tell you why I came on this show, Sean? No, why is that? You did. You said to find us. I forgot. I wasn't allowed to tell you. That was one of the conditions. What? To co be completely transparent, the reason was money. And nothing but that. It was hard enough to take care of myself without my parents, let alone two sisters and a whole farm. I remember now. It was Kat who reached out to me. She told me that if I came onto the show, my sisters and the farm would be taken care of for life. I know this is all horrifying, but I'm just glad she held up her end of the deal. Did she? How do you know that? Even if I might die here and never see him again. That's too depressing to think, Yui. We're going to get out of here and see your sisters again. Together. Thanks, Sean. I'd like that. I'm curious, Yui. What kind of archetype did they list you as? Uh, the girl next door. Damn it, that sounds a lot better than Gamelin' Grimlin. <laughs> Yui, Scarlet, Ali, and I laughed. At times like these, having a mood lifter like Tara was critical. I looked at Violet, who had been silent the whole time. She was trembling. Violet, are you? Uh-oh. Please, d don't let this be true. Violet fell to her knees and sobbed, with her hands across against her face. I rushed to her side. Are you okay, Violet? Violet threw her folder across against the floor, causing the papers inside to scatter through the room. Nothing is okay, Sean. It doesn't matter if I get off this island or not. I'm not like you. I have nothing to go back to. No one to stand by me. There's nothing for me either way. Wait, didn't she say her parents were... Uh-oh. Wait. She ran to the stairs. Her sobs echoed through the staircase and through the lab. I moved to follow her, but Yui stopped me. I think she might need some time alone, Sean. I didn't mean to look, but after her paper scattered around the room, I... Maybe you should just read it. You hand me the papers that were in Yui, uh, Yui's. Violet's file. Violet Valentine is a special case. Otherwise unremarkable, but she's the daughter of Edgar and Vane Valentine. One of our primary investors is my understanding that they have recently had a son and want for him to be their next heir after Viola passed. Wait, Edgar and Vane sent their remaining daughter Violet to us full well knowing that what the show would entail. What? They pay us an incredible sum to make sure she does not return from the show. 
Our parents are assholes. <laughs> Even for me, this is too cruel. It was too hard to keep reading. I closed the folder and just stared open mouthed at Yui. There were no words. Yo, they really just sent their daughter. I knocked on Violet's door later that night, but it was no use. They did not like her. For what though? I don't understand why. Please, just leave me alone, Sean. <sighs> I'm sorry, Violet. I'm so sorry, Violet. Even if she opened the door, I would have no idea what I was supposed to say. What could anyone say? I was wrong. It's not only up from here. There's a long way down. Oh, shoot. This shit's sad as free. It's hardly a surprise, but I didn't sleep very well last night. This is about to be three hours long. I don't give a shit. Who could after what happened? And just like that, we're on a day three. I gotta thank you, Sean. You're making my job easy. I should get to spend my nights doing productive things now. I'm happy to help with that. <laughs> Whatever works. However that works. You alright? You don't seem to have your usual energy. Careful, Sean. One slip up with Cat and this is all over. I'm good. Thanks, Cat. I just didn't sleep too well. Happens to the best of us. Anyway, it goes without saying that Yui is definitely a contender for the final ceremony, hmm? We'll see, or of course. We'll see. I I'm not just not so sure just yet. Oh, really? That's a surprise. Well, not my problem. Anyway, who's today's unlucky girl? Shit, Allie didn't tell me who I... Wait, I think she is going to tell me. Yeah. Oh, because after Violet left. So who should I be asking on a date tomorrow? Honestly, joking aside, I think you should just ask... You should ask Violet. Really? I don't think she's in any shape to put on a good show. I mean, we need all of us to be able to work together. Well, to get out of here, right? I don't think Violet would be able to until she's feeling better. And what better way to do that than for a date to make you feel special? Tara does have a great point there. I always make great points. Like seeing if I could arm wrestle one of the zombies Scarlet made. That went great. Oh yeah, I remember that. Wait, I was a zombie. That's not a good idea at all. Can I take my vote back? What do you think, Sean? I like the idea, actually. We could kill two birds with one stone. I'm sure there's something that we could do to help us escape that we can only do on a date with Violet. Hmm. I've got it. Tomorrow, yeah, you'll be going to invade Violet. Here's what you gotta do. What do I gotta do? Okay, she's not gonna tell us. I've always wanted to spend more time with her, and there's no place like the no time like the present. We'll make it happen. I do have one small request though. What's that? And will it give me ratings? I think it will. Then let's hear it. I know it's Violet being a little down lately, so I wanted to cheer her up. I heard she really likes cooking, especially in groups. Would you mind if we cook with the staff at noon? I don't see why not. Let's hope it goes better than the last time. Oh, shut the hell up. That, that last time was good. Look at her face. Oh, hi, Sean. Why'd you bring me up here? Why'd you bring me here? I'm in a bit of a predicament. You see, I may have made an irresponsible bet. I did not take you for a gambler. Well, I'm not. <laughs> well, I'm not. But the thing is, I heard the cooks bragging that they were the best chefs on the island. But hey, I've tried to feed me before. I knew nobody else could came, come close to how good you are. So I may have challenged them all to the competition. In your name. Dot, dot, dot. You are ridiculous, Sean. Violet laughed out loud. There's that smile I like so much. It was nice to see it again. Are you being serious? Dead serious. In a few hours, hundreds of staff are going to come here. Some of them as challenging cooks, some as judges, and the rest of them just looking for some lunch. All of them are hungry, though. You think you're up for the challenge? Dot, dot, dot. I am ready to crush the opposition. They were rude the day they challenged me. That's the fight I like to see now. Anyway, what is the theme of this contest? I can't tell you just yet. It'll be announced when it's cooking time. I do like a challenge. Would you care to stay with me as I prepare the festivities? Of course, Violet. Thank you, Sean. 
I know why we're doing this and I, I appreciate it. I'm not ready to talk about it just yet, but I feel happier already knowing you're looking out for me. I'm always gonna be here. Oh, shoot. I'm always here for you. And I for you as well, Sean. We spent the time before the contest just talking about pleasant things, completely unrelated to the show, completely unrelated, unrelated to anything of consequence. Sometimes when bad things happen, what you need to know most is just a semblance of normal, normalacity. Like, I don't know how to say these fucking words. I'm too tired. Yep, the five brothers. By the time noon, noon rolled around, hundreds of staff members were filling up this kitchen. I don't want to face you, Violet, but I will if I must. Oh, you're challenging me? Like a snail challenging to the mighty eagle? You have my respect. Is it too late to change sides? You're going down, Violet. We're the Brothers of Five, the best chefs on the island. What's that, too? What I meant to say is, wow, you really are the best chef on the island. That's right. Damn it, bros. You can't let her intimidate you like this. If we do, she's already won. Say something, Four. You will meet on the culinary battlefield, Violet. You may have my brothers running for the hills, but not me and Five. Come at me. Let us brandish our force against each other. Five, do you have anything to say? Wait, what's happening? I do hope you'll entertain me, brothers. Violet raised a pan towards them. Let us begin. It's time for the cook-off to end all cook-offs. Each cook will ah, cook their own version of a mystery dish, a dish that I will soon reveal for the first time ever. The judges will be everyone who's not a contestant. Wow. You must be joking. There's hundreds of people here. How can we ever feed everybody? That's not my problem. Yo, that's fucked up. And I definitely didn't come up with rules for this tournament on the spot. Liar. Violet laughed once more. That was enough to keep this charade going. The mystery dish. It'll be spaghetti and meatballs. Like taking a candy from the baby. Not this again. Oh, I think I'm gonna faint. One collapse on the ground. One down, four to go. Bro! I knew we should have been accountants. Why are we fooling ourselves? You check one hour. No late submissions will be accepted. Let the games begin. The contestants that were still conscious rushed off to gather ingredients. How are we gonna? How are they gonna make that much food? I'm sure they'll figure something out. Watch even each of them cook furiously at breakneck speed. Violet was hard at work, sweat streaming down her face with the biggest smile I had I seen her have all day. I couldn't help but smile. Oh, whoa, whoa, come on! I'm not sure this will be too much of a contest. One minute left. Violet filled hundreds of laid-up bowls with spaghetti and meatballs in a matter of moments. If you blink, you miss her finish her whole roll. Bro, each looked both delicious and artistic. You would have thought a cook would have spent much time must spent much longer than an hour putting all these together. Five set it on set it on making about four and a half bowls. I guess everyone has their own pace. Time's up. It's time to judge. The crowd cheered as they stampeded the laid out bowls. They were practically salivating. After everybody wolfed down bowls for each of the contestants, they submitted their vote. The people have spoken. And with a resounding majority, our first ever winner of the best chef on the island in the Middle of Nowhere award is, of course, Violet. The crowd cheered, myself included. I, I did it? Me! I did it! Violet jumped up and down with joy. I feel like a kid in a candy store, just from one look at her. You won fair and square. You should be proud of yourself. Yeah, your food was the best I ever had. Though if you consider our living standards, that doesn't mean too much. Now that's sad. I don't really want to talk about sad stuff. Hey, I just had an idea. What if we get Violet to cook for the staff at lunch instead of us? Seriously, it's been years since we had real food. What's that supposed to mean? Honestly, I think it's a great idea. I know I hide it well, but I really have no idea what I'm doing in the kitchen. No way, bro. Violet and I took one look at each other and couldn't help but laugh. I would love to, you guys. The crowd's enthusiasm reached a level of uproarious applause. Violet! 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 Oh goodness, uh, you're all too kind. I put my arm around her and smiled. Guess you got a new job now, Violet. I guess I do. Oh, that's that's nice. I like that. I Violet leaned to kiss me on the lips. Oh shoot. I didn't I didn't expect that. For a moment, time stood still. 
and the only thing you could hear was the crowd's cheer getting even louder. Violet, Violet, Violet. We laughed together. I had so much fun today, Sean. Thanks to you. Could have drawn me by the beach after we clean this place up. I wouldn't miss it for the world. The world would pale in comparison. All right, we're going on the beach. Dot, dot, dot. Hey, she reached out her hand to mine and I held hers tight in return. So, my thing is, they all got mad at me for doing this shit. Doing the shit that I'm doing right now with all of them. Like, holding her hands and telling us, telling the shit they want to hear. Why do they get mad at me for that if we're doing that now? Well, I mean, I guess it's a, not a front, but like, you know what I mean. You really gave him a great shoulder there, you know? I couldn't have done that with my ever so charming television host. We walked along the beach, our feet bare in the inviting water of the ocean. Really, I, I'm so grateful to you, Sean. Last night, finding out what my parents did, I, that was the lowest point I'd ever been to. I held her hand even tighter. Honestly, I, I didn't see a way out, escaping the island or not. Everything just seemed like a dead end. But today, you helped me remember that even without them, I've still got me. And I like me quite a bit. You really are invincible. Incredible Violet. I said invincible. That was all you. With you. Violet mumbled something under her breath. Sorry, what was that? Uh, sorry, let me try again. I knew I'd, I know I'd be fine on my own, but I'd like me better if I was with you. When we get out of here, I do hope you join me for that cruise. She kissed me again. It felt like magic. Violet, I... She put her finger against my lips. Shh. I know it's not quite time for that conversation yet. But please do remember what I said. When this is all over. Do you mind if we walk for just a little longer? I... I don't want this to end. I'm a... I'm just keep saying what they want to hear. Like, because that's... That's good. We could still walk until the sun. We could walk till the sun comes up. We could talk about anything and everything. So how about we start with planning our cruise together? That would be lovely. We walk together until the dead of night. There's nothing less than magical. Dot, dot, dot. Uh oh, now it's all of them again. Just after we came back, a huge storm hit outside. We just missed it. Hope you two enjoyed your date today. Sorry to interrupt, but it's time to get the show on the road. Allie took out the master key from her pocket, spanned it with the ring around her finger, then put it in the locked door. And we're in. She turned the lock, then pulled the door open. Whoa, this door is a little heavier than I thought it would be. It must be soundproof or something. Whatever, let's go. Oh man, not another staircase. They would have saved so much money if they didn't put this on the main floor. If they put this on the main floor. But it wouldn't be very secret then, would it? Shh, secret shmeek it. It's behind a locked door. I guess you have a point. Though it was another staircase, it wasn't as nearly as long as the one to the lab. We'd be walking down a few steps for only a few moments when we saw where they led. This has to be it. Oh, this is the place where they'd be watching us, right? This is the room. What's it? A while back, Kat told me that all the information on this island was stored in books. They didn't use anything digital, or with the internet. I think I remember that too. Well, it's bullshit. They're an evil corporation, intent on world domination through fear and control. Of course they have the internet. And I think we just found a way into their closets, skeletons and all. Sounds like a pretty big deal. That's an understatement. The information in here could change the tide of the war. It could give the resistance a real fighting chance, I think. I think. But there's more than that, too. What do you need? My dad, mom, and brother got taken by these guys a long time ago. I I don't even know if they're still alive. I was too young to really understand what was happening. If there's anything that could help me find them again, or at least find out what happened to them, it's in this computer. That was the real reason why I came here. The whole reason I risked everything. It, I... What if it doesn't have what I'm looking for? What, what if... Ali? Yuri ran down... Yuri! I'm tired. I've been on this for like three hours, man. This basically should be a live stream. Shit. Hugged her tightly. It's going to be okay. You believe in me, right? Dot, dot, dot. I don't think she believes in shit right now. 
She took deep breaths. I, I'm sorry you had to see that. I'm okay now. Thanks, Yui. I didn't do anything. Are you ready? Let's do this. Stop using my catchphrase. I looked at Violet as Allie prepared to turn the computer on. She looked as concerned as I did, but we couldn't let it show. The screen lit up with a single message. Password required. Well, I did think it was going to be... I did think it was going a little too smoothly. I'm not giving up just yet, though. She tried to... Ah! She tried a diff... She tried a few different passwords on the keyboard, but none of them worked. Damn it. I bet only Damien or Cat know this, and there's no way we could just ask them. Silence fell upon the room. It can't just end like this. It just can't. I've got an idea. It's not going to involve wrestling zombies again, is it? Hey, I've had better ideas than that. What I mean to say is, I think I have a way to crack the code. I'm a programmer. I can make something that can try all the possibilities for the password. And it will take some time, especially if it locks me out after too many attempts. But eventually I get the password. Though there's no guarantee we get the answer before the show is over. Oh boy. It's a lot better of a shot than I thought we had. Allie went over the top Terra and hugged her tightly. Thank you, you awesome little you. Ugh, this is nice. Feel free to compliment me more. In the meantime, the rest of us can try to figure out what the password would be as well. That reminds me. I need to tell you guys something important. What's that? Dot, dot, dot. I have our escape plan. Uh-oh. This sounds like that music where we're about to get out of here. It's like that Indiana Jones rescuing music. She took out the master key and held it out for us to see. There's a hidden hat hangar I found by the beach. It's just a little farther from where I first found a plane. Now that we have this key, we know that it works. We can use it to disable the hangar security. Commandeer a plane, then fly the hell out of here. We practically jump for joy. I can't believe it. We're almost out of here. It's been a long time coming. Well, well soon, but not just yet. With this storm raging, there's no way we're getting anywhere tonight. At least, at all, off the ground. But if there's clear skies tomorrow night, that's where we'll be. What about the computer? Don't you need to crack it before we go? Yeah, what about your family? Well, that'd be the ideal case. But honestly, I, I've gotten to know you guys, and I care about you guys, and, and, and I... I decided that it's more important to save the people I care about that are right in front of me than chase a pipe dream. Because you don't even know, yeah, you don't even know about your parents. No, I won't accept it. If I were in your shoes and I was looking for my sisters and I just gave up looking for them, I'd regret it forever. And I know you would too. But I can't ask you guys to stay here any longer. We're in danger if we stay here. Yui speaks for us too. To have family that you really care about, and that cares about you too, you can't give up on that. We're not going anywhere until we crack that code, even if it takes us till the last day. You guys... No, I can't allow it. I won't take that chance with your lives. I'm not backing down on this. What do you think, Sean? Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. Y'all, don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. This is the first time we had a different choice, like a choice that would actually probably change our outcome of this. Oh, shit. We can't take the risk, but then... Y'all might hate me for this, but I'm just... I, I don't... Guys, guys, take a chill pill for a second. I'm a programming guy. Best of the best. I'm going to have that code, code crack by tomorrow, and that's a promise. So don't worry, okay? I love you guys. Thank you so much, really. Why are you thinking all of us? I'm the one who has to write the code and shit. <laughs> we laughed together for something I thought might have been impossible at the initial bad news. We're in this together, and getting out together. No one gets left behind. After we called at night, I laid deep in bed, laid in bed deep in thought. Who would have thought that I could have ended today feeling inspired after everything that happened last night? We've got this. We... Sean! One more thing, she just scared me, before we turn in for the night. What's up, Tara? 
I got caught up in the heat of the moment earlier and oh no. What what do you mean? I've got no idea. Oh my gosh. I do not like where this is going. She she lied to us. How to do this? Cause I remembered that all I know about hacking are videos of people typing really fast saying I'm in and Ah I practically flew out of bed. Oh, it's just a nightmare. Oh, okay. Okay. What does it take to get a good night's sleep on a killer dating show? Come on. Oh my gosh. Should we keep it going, y'all? We might as well keep it going. I don't care. Like this. I don't, I don't care. We gotta keep it going. I don't care if this takes three hours. Y'all go. Y'all y'all watch it or y'all don't. Cause y'all getting a lot of content here. What are you smiling about? Yesterday's date with Violet. I just feel like things are going my way lately. Yesterday's date with Violet still has me feeling giddy as a little kid. I almost feel like there's perks to being on the killer dating show. Well, don't get too comfortable. You still got a few days left. Then it's back to the regular. I'm looking forward to that. Wait, better. Wait, she said back to the regular. What the hell does that mean? I, I, I read it before I even understood. Better sooner than later. You cost too much to keep around. Anyway, oh, that's what she meant by the regular, like her the regular life. Anyway, the million dollar question: Who's today's unlucky girl? That'd be, oh, yeah, you, you know we gotta talk. So tomorrow it's either gonna be Tara or Allie. Hmm, it's probably best to go if we go with Tara. But doesn't Tara need time to crack the code? Nah, I already finished making the code breaker. It's trying every password we see as we speak. No guarantee we'll finish it before we're both done our dates, but it's worth a, tr a shot. Thank you, Tara. Don't worry about it. Besides, I think we it's better if we save your date for last. Ooh, I know what I'm gonna do. Okay, no, I got this. I'm not gonna finish the whole thing, it's, been, it's too long, but I'm probably gonna finish this and then save her shit for last and then finish it after that. But I, I have to do this like next week because I'm so antsy to see what, what's, what's going on here. I don't know. You're some super spy from some super secret organization. You've definitely got bigger heist potential than I do. I don't know about that, but it sounds good to me. I'll use the time to prepare some contingency. Contingency. Ah, I can't say that. The plans. Scarlet, Violet, Yui, I'm gonna need you guys for this. I'm happy to provide assistance. You bet. I hope however I can. Okay. Sweet. All right, uh, all right, Sean. What's up? I didn't just build a cold breaker. I built a game that works with it too. What do you mean? She handed me her console. I just whipped it up real quick. It looks like a cold breaking game, but really, it works directly with the computer we found. If you get the password right in this game, we'll have access to the computer. Make sense? Amazing, I can't believe you whipped up something so fast. It wasn't hard. It was just a big middle finger to my mom. <laughs> Who thought all my screen time was a waste of time? Anyway, I figure if we play this game here, out here and there during our date, try whatever password come to mind. Obviously, not for the whole date because ratings and all, but as much as we can. Are you sure this will work? Actually, I, I, I'm not too sure. Trust me. When have I ever been wrong? She cackled me. Yeah. I bet you've been wrong. Let's hope this works. I like to spend today with Tara. Is that so? Well, we'll make it happen. Try not to spend all of it playing games, though. Believe it or not, that isn't what viewers want in a prime slot. Time slot. No promises, but I'll try my best. It ain't much, but I'll take that. What are we about to do then? Sorry, cat. That's pretty much the plan, though. Hey, Sean. You have to play some games? I'd love to, but Cat wants us to do some other games. It is sweet. There's no stopping Tara when she puts her mind to something. We start playing together in the game room while making pleasant conversation. Normal enough to seem like a regular conversation, crippled enough to disguise what we were trying to do. Even if Tara and I never went on crazy adventures like I did with Allie, it didn't make moments with her any less special. If I forget what we're trying to ha that we're trying to hack into some confidential database, this really is like a fun day at home with your partner. How about Terra is the best? It's worth a shot. Nope, doesn't work. The nerve of them. Terra rules. That's a miss. 
Was the T capitalized? Maybe add a zero, one, two, three at the end of it. Thank goodness we have the code breaker running in the background. Time to switch gears. Let's give Cat some footage to work with to keep us alive. Oh, God, stop! Show him! Why the sun? Ah! Go on without me. Okay, maybe this wasn't the best idea. So, some way or another, we always end up back inside the mansion, huh? And there's nothing wrong with that. I guess you're right. Up a few more rounds of that game we just played? Sure. How about Damien Black Sus? <laughs> nope, doesn't work. Cat Black Sus. Not that either. How about Sean? Oh, come on now. You're, now you're just guessing. Like I wasn't before. Yeah, she definitely was. I'll try it. Was that actually the password? The two of us looked at each other like deer in the headlights. What? We cheered as if our favorite team had just won in a sporting event. Wait a minute, why would the password be your name? That doesn't make any sense. My guess is as good as yours. Maybe we'll find out tonight. I hope so. I think we've, I've had enough of game for today. I never thought I'd hear you say that, Tara. I'm full of surprises. We can spread the good news after. How about we try something new today? Something outside? Sounds like a plan to me. Awesome, let's go! We ended up going back inside a minute later, but the rest of the day with Tara was still a lot of fun. Dot, dot, dot. Yeah, y'all gonna be, y'all wanna hear this shit. And we're in! The password prompt closed with a satisfying ding ding. Whoa, there's a lot of stuff in here. Why would there be a folder called Homework? Whoa, that's definitely a porn folder name. <laughs> Tara was about to open it until Allie intervened. Do you mind if I take a look? Ah, forget why we were here for a second. Sure. Let's see. Allie started going through folders, databases, reports, anything that could be useful. At the same time, Tara started downloading all the files to her console. Doesn't look like there's anything here about why my name was the password. Yeah, that, that doesn't make sense. All the rest of us could do was give Allie and Tara the space they needed. Seems like it's going to be up from, only up from here. Ah, seems like it's only going to be up from here, team. I was worried for Allie, especially if we couldn't get into the computer. But it looks like we got it after all. It's too soon to say anything, but I hope you're right. Let's not jinx it. So what's the first thing you're going to do when you get out of here? I thought we weren't going to jinx it. I'm going straight back to helping people the way I know best. Nothing changed in that regard. That is a lovely aspiration. Do me a favor and make sure your inventions don't get used on yourself again, okay? I mean, it's not like I was trying to. I admire how you can be so sure. Like, aside I am, as I am to leave this place, I'm not quite sure what I'll be doing after. That's totally okay, Violet. That's part of the fun of life. Just figuring it out as you go. I... I suppose so. Violet looked at me and smiled. That's pretty much my plan at this point, too. Oh, they're just moving around. Oh, they're back. Guess who's back, bitch? All Tara wants to say is, we did it. I've got everything I need to help turn the tide of war. And I know where my family is. And they're alive. I'd never seen Allie so happy. She jumped towards me and hugged me. Oof. That's fantastic. That's such a relief. I'm so happy for you, Allie. Great job, Tara. You cracked the code. Not all at once now. I couldn't have done it without you guys. Thank you so much. We didn't have to wait this long to leave, but you guys did it for me and my family. I can't ever thank you enough. She pulled out the master key from her back pocket and swirled it around her right hand. You guys ready to get out of here? Actually, I was thinking of staying here for the rest of my life. Not having internet is the best thing ever. I couldn't agree more. Err, uh, let's get out of here. After you, Allie. Oh wait, we're leaving now? I might have to finish this then. I didn't know we were leaving now. Oh shoot. We found Ali out of the mansion, through the forest, and to the hangar. Whoa. I did not see this. Granted, I don't go outside though. I don't blame you. It's pretty out of the way. Not that we have to worry about it now. Ali pulled out the master key. I swore it around her and swore it around her right hand. She walked to the door of the hangar and put the key into its lock. She tried to turn it, but it didn't work. Oh, shoot. Oh, hell no. She tried a few more times, but the lock refused to bulge. 
I, I don't understand. I've seen Cat use this key everywhere, including here. They must have changed the locks. Does this mean we're stuck here? I, I don't... It's rare that Allie tripped over her words. It's hurt, it hurt to see her so defeated. I don't know. Dot, dot, dot. An uncomfortable silence fell over us. Am I going to die here? Are all of us? I... Uh-oh. No, we're not out of this just yet. I refuse to give up again. But we can't get into the hangar. There's no way to break in without triggering the, triggering the alarms. For now, yes. But getting in later is a different story. If I remember correctly, whenever you went on a third date with Sean, you would fly in a plane together. Well, I'm assuming that plane was was you two. It's just like you try, like you to try something crazy and drag in Sean. I can't refute that. That was definitely us. However, we never died on those plane rides. How we never died on those plane rides, I'll never know. That means the staff don't mind if you take the plane during the date, which means we should be able to ask for the key temporarily. We we'll still be able to get to the plane. It just has to be during tomorrow's date. Oh, okay. So I know what I'm doing. There'll be way more stuff staff around than usual, but we still have a chance. Exactly. The rest of us can be relatively close by. Perhaps a beach to avoid suspicion. That's when you get the plane, we run over, you pick us up, and we're out of here. This could work. It's better than how my plan turned out anyway. I was worried for a second there, but it was for nothing. We got this. We'd be in a tight spot without you. It's a team effort. With each, without each of us here, we'd be stuck here. With no chance of escape, I'm sure. <laughs> Speak for yourself. I'm sure I can get out of here on my own. You were shut down the second you reached the beach, Tara. On second thought, maybe teamwork does make the dream work. We laughed together. The mood was infinitely better than it was just a few moments ago. We spent the rest of the night talking through details of the plan, including what we do if the unexpected happened. One thing for sure though, we weren't giving up on getting out of here. It all ends tomorrow.